risk everything. Very finicky setup. All right. Wow, it has been almost four months. Oh no, this is a mistake already. It's an Eric. Hopefully my various alt tabbings did not destroy everything. That would be this adds. Hey, it did not. I am standing in the basement of the temple. YouTube says I have zero concurrent viewers, which could be true. Uh, this concerns me. Did I do it wrong? Uh, maybe. Probably. Um, all right, whatever. I'm just going to continue and hope. All right. What was I doing? Drain tells me that the mazed band is a powerful ring. Look, Car uh, does not know where the artifacts, but only that the goddess wishes to retrieve it. He assumes she will be to use it to better minister to people. Okay. I'm to retrieve an artifact from the tombs beneath the temple and return it at once. The band is supposed to be in an abandoned crypt, which I can reach through the passage in the northwest section of the temple sewers. Okay. Northwest section of the temple sewers. All right. Uh, if I can remember how to do stuff. Northwest section is this way. I have spear. Yes. I remember this. Hello. Woof. Ah, uh, those liches have very powerful magics. It has been a while since I have played. I believe... So I have a Blessed Spear. Why am I using the Blessed Spear and not the Bound Spear? Because it does shield. Okay, that makes sense. Why am I not wearing bracers? Right. Because I'm wearing these gloves of Bound, of agility and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Exquisite Battle Skirt versus Longsword skirt, right? I'm using the battle. Right, okay. Everything's coming back. Alright, you know what? Oh. Eventually, you run out of magicka. It's fine. Come on. Eventually. Ah! That was. That walked right into that one. 
believe one of, like, I have a shirt of healing or something, don't I? Uh, how much magic do you guys have? I know you're liches. Surely you'll run out eventually, unless you have, like, a thousand intelligence. I don't actually know the stats on these things. Hey! Wow, you also have health up the wazoo. Goodness gracious, you guys. Take the bone meal. I have forgotten what various uh, alchemical ingredients are good. Hello. I don't see your video on the stream. Uh, that's not good. That is actually true. It's just black. It is just black. I don't know why it is. Why that is? Oh, that's why that is. Is that better? I'm a derp. Capture is not playing well. It was because I had it set to the wrong program. Uh, Vara went for the blind. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, the music was working, wasn't it? Uh, I don't like that. Tell me if there's a black bar at the bottom of this. Once you actually see it and hear it. I hope this starts working. I'm going to be doing counterclockwise circles on the ground. It still just looks black to me on the stream stream side. But the, uh, there might be a lag involved, but I don't know how long the lag is. Hmm. I might have to restart the stream. Uh... Let's see if I can do that. By Oh, you see it? Okay. I don't see it. Um Thanks for letting me know. That's a good thing to do, because otherwise I would be a big derp. I mean I am a big derp. Alright. Yeah. For the YouTube uh little preview thing is just the black loading circle. Alright, we have a skeleton. I actually think I could take the skeleton uh, with the long sword. I have been wanting to train in the long sword. Hello? Stranger, listen, I have a message I must tell you. My name is Veriner. I was killed by the Black Dart Gang. I beg you, avenge my death. Their hideout is an old Mornhold Temple Sewers, the little Temple Sewers West. Many have died fighting them, but there is a mechanism that can flood the room, drowning the gang. Find a lever that looks like a torch handle near the east end of the chamber. But whatever you do, don't get too close, or you'll join me in the afterlife. Uh, Black Dart Gang use poison darts, which is very annoying. Whoa! Why does this undead guy have literally a chest of one of every single silver item? Silver being one of the only things that can actually harm an undead a ghost. -y ghost. I don't know if that was every single silver. 
one of every single silver item, but it was just about one of every single silver item. Uh, abandoned crypt. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Uh, if I go to journal. Uh, yes. Also, this tea is delicious. So stand by while I pour myself a cup. I hope you can still see Emmy, because I cannot see. I need more liches. Keep my sword. Yes, there's there, there are liches. All right, I need health. Somewhere in here is health. Oh, there's another lich. Good, wonderful. It's just what I needed. Okay, I need more health. Uh, quality restore health. Do I have, like, any of my restore healths? Which will make me essentially invincible for a while. So much water walking. Goodness gracious. Yes! Yes, I do. I have some minor restore healths and some ultra restore healths. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just take one of these. All right, now I'm invincible. This is fine. This game is definitely not broken. Yeah, there's enough. There's a rat there. Come on, rat. I'm dealing with more important things than you right now. All right. I don't need to worry about those. Uh, where's this go? More abandoned crypt stuff. Just some pile of skeletons. <sighs> Looking for a ring. For Almalexia. Hello. Bodies. I'm not gonna get rid of that body. I feel like I've been here before. I have been here before. Have I? Am I going crazy? Is it just that all of these look alike? Really? You're not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me. All right. I have a ring of levitation, but I'm not going to wear them. Not yet. Just looking very familiar. have been blinded. Hearth... Hearthoon's eyes. Hearthoon's heavy eyes. And you've damaged my health. A whole point! Oh no. Oh, I'm alive! Alright. You can look at my health bar. I would be dead several times over were it not for... Stop it! I said... Stop it! Do I have any ranged magic? I don't think I have been specking into magic this whole time. 
Uh, I am going to switch out to my spear, though. Oh, that's going to... There we go. Alright, you need to stop blinding me. I said, stop blinding me. I cannot see anything. <laughs> oh, hello, Lich. Yep, I'm about to be blinded again. But at least I killed the Lich. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna stand here and take it. Stop it! <laughs> I think I killed him! Yay! <laughs> oh, wow, you had a Daedric Claymore and the Mazed Band. How heavy is that? Uh, it is extremely heavy. Alright, I have the Mazed Band. Something tells me that this chest is gonna have stuff in it. 50 gold! Woo! Yeah! Salt race. I believe salt race is important for my alchemical things. Oh, there's another chest back here. <gasps> Scuttle is also very important for feather. Ooh, diamonds. I will take those diamonds. Alrighty. Uh, back to the top of Mornhold. Or, not the top. The, uh, the upper level. The liches haven't respawned. Does not appear to have. Oh, there's a ghost. But it's okay. You can just hop past. Uh, I think I'm going this way. Yes. Just down here. Around the corner. Uh, too far. Yes, continue running all of the executables. It just means we get a, uh, somewhere in here there is a desk. Multiple desks. Uh, I want to go this way. Infirmary? I feel like I've gone the wrong way. Sure it doesn't, Mr. Ordinator. You know, if I keep going around, eventually I'll get to the reception area. Uh, who do I return this to? Do I return it to you? Have you retrieved the band? I have. You got the maze band? Interesting. I won't be the one to take it. Speak with the priest, Drin. And he'll know what should be done. Okay. Which one is Drin? Are you Drin? No. Is Drin the Archcannon? Uh, up here. Down here. Justice. Drin! You've been able to retrieve the Maze Band? Amazing! Almalexia will want to hear about this immediately. You are to speak with her directly. I hope you realize what an honor you're receiving, Motothusis. Yes, the lady requests your presence at once. It is best not to keep her waiting. You'll find her in the High Chapel. Our lady's blessings upon Well, High Chapel is just up here. Are you Almalexia? Just standing with these hands facing you all five of the hands many blessings upon you my loyal servant well oh, you are all Muxy. you're still Keimer too Vivek was half Keimer half Dunmer but you're just all Keimer so you are the person I have been hearing about I welcome you to my chapel but perhaps I should call you by another name but that is 
discussion for a later time. I understand you have done well in my service, and indeed, a service in my name is a service for all of mortal. Now, my faith in his obedient servant, let us discuss Arzar's maze band. An interesting artifice, is it not? It seems ordinary enough, but it is much more. The ring is cold now, but the embers of its power still burn hot within. I will use my magic to be away from this power. Uh, why do you want this ring? So we have to, we have learned that Almalexia is uh, like she's only a god because she used some of the part or some of the power of the heart of Lorcan, which we have now destroyed. So it's questionable whether she's still a god anymore. All you have been a pleasant surprise to me. I have seen something in you that I have not seen in a very long time. I bestow the blessing of my life upon you. May it serve you well. We will speak again soon. I mean, you're not kicking me out of this conversation, so can I, like, ask you about Sothasil? Do not concern yourself with Sothasil. He lives in his own way. As he always has. No, I have not spoken with him in a long time. But this is not all. I'm certain all is well with my old friend. Um. Elsa is the king of Mormons. He is young and has much to learn. Soon he will learn the strength of the Tribunal Temple and its importance to all my people. All right. I'm getting creepy vibes from her. Um, I believe Helseth is like a puppet of the Empire. Uh, so he's not exactly a legitimate king of Barrowind, like Barrowind's people. Uh, he's like a colonialist ruler. Uh, but the temple has shown it's not exactly great for its people either. Um, what with the whole prosecuting of the Ashlanders. Um, I don't know. Uh, what about this guy? My dear Gavin, All right. Uh, okay. So we'll speak again soon. Oh, what is the what was the ability I got? Uh, Almalexia's light. That could be a magic item. Almalexia's light. It's a power. Fortify all of this. No, restore all of this stuff. Oh. That's good. That's very good. How are you today? Uh, hello, Feldis. What is it you want? Uh, oh. live under here. Her protection. Uh, I have nothing. If something comes up, you'll be informed. Okay. So I guess just go back out into the city and look around for stuff to do. Probably uh, do some armoring. Should probably uh, take off that. So that way I don't accidentally repair bound items. There might be a glitch that causes it to. Uh, bound items to become permanent. I believe. You can't remove them. They also weigh nothing, but they do clutter up the inventory. Uh, so let's throw on longsword skirt. 
Um, could run around and do stuff. I don't know. What is there to do? Oh, right. Just we don't get an actual map. Uh, Bazaar's probably got some stuff in it. You know, like side quests or something. I'm also out of tea, which is sad. But it did warm me up, which is what it was supposed to do. Uh, there's a play I did a play in. Or I played a part in. Talk is free. What do you want? The devil is dead and the blight is gone. Blah, blah, blah. Do you have any money? You have no money. I have already given you all of the things. Uh, latest rumors. With all the troubles in Vardenfell, any decent mercenaries demand fancy wages there. And get them. No questions asked. Doesn't leave much choice around here for hiring. That Imperial feller... Feller. <laughs> that Imperial feller. Clavis Horatius is the only one I know about. He's new to Marwin. with no reputation, no references, but he looks like a veteran, and he's an honest face. Okay. We should find this Calvis Horatius. A good man is hard to find. You Hello, Argonian. No time to talk, I'm afraid. There's much work to be done. Yes, much to do. No time for silly fancies like drinking, dancing. Oh, but wh Oh, but what I wouldn't give to meet someone new. Yes, that's right. Believe it or not, I had no intention of working here when I came to Mournhold. It's quite a sob story. I sure you want to hear it. Please continue. Well, it's mostly my fault, really. I grew up in a small village in the south of Marwind. They cared for me a great deal, but only and only wanted the best of me. But when they arranged my marriage to a weak, wealthy nobleman, I couldn't take it. He was disgusting, and I wanted nothing to do with him, so I ran away and ended up, ended up here in Mournhold. I, con I was convinced that I'd be able to find the man of my dreams, only it hasn't worked out that well. Way. Go on. I was foolish about it, to be sure. I never considered that I need money to survive on my own. I was determined, though, not to go crawling back to the village and beg forgiveness from my parents and that loathe the man. I'm, I'd make it on my own, and only then would I contact my parents and let them know where I was. So I started working, and now it's all I do. I've no time to meet anyone. Let me know if you meet any nice single men, will you? Okay. And Marwin has stopped working. <laughs> GG. All right. Uh, let's see if I can. Of course, I can't do it from there. That would be too easy. I guess I have to launch from Steam. Apparently so. All right. Hopefully the last save wasn't too far back. Uh, what so? Yeah, okay. What do you want this ring? Okay. Yes to all. Because there's that table. Me. I was just thinking. All right. Let's go talk to those people again. I'm going to save right before I talk to the lady. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like a bug that that quest just breaks the journal forever. That would be sad. Uh, latest rumors. He has not his face. Good. Meet someone new. Please continue. Go on. My journal has been updated. Okay. Wow, this guy's like a lion. What can she do? What an incredible performance. Yes, I almost got stabbed. Well, actually, he attacked me, and I destroyed him because I'm the Nerevar, or Nerevarine. Uh, you probably also have no money. 
Uh, so what about latest rumors? Uh, Calvus Horatius. Alright. You, I think, have no money because you're an alchemist. So I've probably also bought out all of your alchemy equipment, too. Uh, latest rumors. Calvus Horatius. Alright. I think uh, this is a... This DLC... I just... Okay, good. I just saved over the... Uh... Get your scribs or rats. Greetings and welcome, Sarah. Are you in the market for trained scribs and rats? I think you'll find my prices quite reasonable. And my rats and scribs are fine pets or beasts of burden. Or as tasty little morsels. Yes, but I was a lad I dreamed of being the greatest scrib and rat trainer in the world. And given the limited capacities of scribs and rats, I'll flatter myself that I achieved this goal. The creatures are priceless, but since I find myself unexpectedly short of cash, I'm reduced to selling off my superbly trained scribs and rats as pets. That's right. You can have a scrib for low price of 20 gold or a rat for 25. They're trained to follow you and attack anyone who attacks you. Or you can buy my exclusive rat pack, or pack rat, for 100 gold. They not only follow you and fight, but also carry small burdens. And at a pinch, you've got fresh meat on the hoof whenever you need it. What do you say? Uh, no thanks. I wish I could, like, donate gold to him, because I'm pretty sure I'm swimming in gold. Yes, I am swimming in gold. Uh, let's find Clavicus Horatius. Ah, oh, why, hello there. Aren't you a tasty dish? You must be new to Mordenhold. I'd have recognized that beautiful face otherwise. Fons Beren at your service. A lady who loves, or a man who loves beautiful women. The one and only. Let me guess. You've heard stories about me from the local women. I tell you, they can't get enough of me. Falling over themselves, they are. Yes, indeed. Great lover, by all accounts. Feel free to ask around at the ladies who will... Here we'll agree, I'm quite sure. But let's not waste any time. Shall we skip the formalities and just head back to my banner? <laughs> I know both of my options are no. <laughs> not a chance or sorry, you're not my type. Take another look, baby. I'm every woman's type. No? Eh? Well, you got any cute friends? I'm on the market looking for a good time or a companion, something like that. Uh... No... She's looking for a husband, and I feel well, like well, you're not looking for a wife. You wow, that's that's creepy. Alright. Latest rumors. Are you going to tell me? Have you heard? A terribly powerful and evil wizard, something or other Vel Velas, I think they said, has taken up residence nearby. At the bar the other night, they were talking of strange lights and sinister laughter. Late at night. I'd be on my toes if I were you. I bet this wizard will try to make a display of his power soon. That's interesting. Something rather velous. Uh, the king is dead. Long live the king. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about Helseth? Long live the king. <laughs> Good job. Uh, what time is it? It's 1 a.m. Laughter and lights at w late at night. Well, it is late at night. Do you, Do you know anything about this wizard? No? Justice never sleeps. Trader, pawnbroker, clothier. Is it clothier or clothier? Darn. French magic, armory, bookseller. Know where a wizard would hide? I don't think. What was that about? Like, was it around here? Was it in the uh, the other district? No, not Fonz Belen. Well, uh, live in peace here, stranger. At the bar the other night. They were talking... Okay, the bar is in the other district. At least there's no bars here. This is just merchants. So... I go to the temple courtyard. Did I just come from the temple courtyard? Yes. Yes, I did. I need to go all the way across to the other one. Right, it's some sort of plaza on the uh, north end of the city. Like a statue. So, you know, when you build a city, uh, half of it should be temple. The other half of it should be just a plaza. And then you squeeze in the residents and the, uh, the merchants 
in whatever space is left over, and then whatever space is left over from that, you put all the municipal stuff, like the, uh, the governor and the uh, empire, all that sort of stuff. Craftsman Hall, that sounds useful. Should check that out at some point. Museum of Artifacts. What is this about? Probably want to buy some of the stuff that from me. The Wing Guar. This sounds barish. Can you ask your question quickly? I must be going. Uh, do you know anything about lights? Whatever you do, don't play cards with Galem Salus. Or Salus. He's a hustler, just moved here from Vardenfell. He thinks he's a... Um, he thinks he can outdistance his reputation, but a friend in Sage with Mora tipped me off. I wish he would leave. He put a damper on the action. Uh, Galms Celis. Sounds... Uh, Imperial. You've got my ear. Let's You're not Galms. Hey. Sells the name. Shells the game. Sells. Up for a game of shells. Shells. Yes. I'd like. Uh, I'll put this coin under one of these mud crab shell pieces he I have here, and then mix them up. All you got to do is tell me where the coin is when I'm done, and you win double your money. What do you say? You're gonna have to stop, Galms. I know you're hustling, people. Damn. Who told you? Come on, buddy. Don't be too hard on me. I was just trying to make a few extra gold. Look, if you let me stay, I promise I'll give everyone fair odds. I'm good for it. If anyone complains of me cheating, they can tell Hessian and I'll be out of here in an instant. Thanks, Motothesis. I owe you. If you want to play a game of shells, just let me know. Okay. Is my personality just superb? No. Am I wearing anything that's like charm? Fortify luck. Bound. Fortify strength. Restore health. Fortify speed, agility, night eye, hand to hand. Nope. Nope. Just, just by winning personality. Probably because I'm the savior of the world. Uh, Ditcher's carrier at the craftsman hall. He's not a craftsman at all. Just a collector. Collects the strangest things. Spoons, candlesticks, plates. He says it's hard to come by complete sets of some things, and people people will pay good money for them. It takes all kinds. Yes. What is it? Oh yeah, sure. Her heard you the first time. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Little advice. Secret. Services. Reverend. Okay. All right, I'm listening. I'm just gonna go. Greeting. Hessian. What exactly do you require? Ooh, some work I need taken care of. Sure. We well, see my user bouncer grub didn't show up today. Probably got lost in the pavilion again. The orcish ninny. Wow, racist. Anyway, would you be willing to stand in for him? All you'd have to do is make one uh, one sweep through the bar crowd. If memory serves, you don't get too many people coming through this time of day. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I can do it. Here's all you have to do. Go around, talk to everyone in the bar. If they're too drunk or unruly or just bad character, throw them out. Report to me when you're done. My hand-to-hand -hand skill is probably bad. Oh, it's 25. Do I have like a... Yes, I have... I have a... Gauntlets of punching. All right. I'm listening. Uh, I should probably... Not have that. So if I pull out my fists... Yeah. Hey, hey, watch it there. Why do you harass... Hara harassing me? I ain't got nothing to do with you. Damn you, you dirty Argonian. Anyway, always... Always causing problems. Wow, you're racist too. That's right. I've never met an Argonian I liked. I say we should just ship them all back to, to, well, wherever it is the heck they came from. Build a wall between us and them. Who's with me? Uh, Black Marsh, sir, and... Why don't you calm down? Not for the likes of a dirty Argonian, you bubble-faced puke. I can say whatever I want. No one can stop me. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to leave. No, I'm not coming with you. Who knows what revolting tricks you'll pull when we're alone. Get away from me. You won't take me in. Victory or victory. Ow. You run I like how no one cares. I also like I never knew that 
there were upper fists and swipes. That's hilarious. So you might notice, uh, if you look very carefully, it doesn't help that my, uh, here, let's try to take off the, uh, fatigue amulet so that it can see better. Uh, getting punched hurts your fatigue, not your health. And it only starts hurting your health when your fatigue goes down far enough that you, uh... Stop walking around. I'm gonna punch someone in his... Aw, oh, this is too easy! Um, which means once you generally start losing, because your fatigue starts dropping too fast, then you're... you'll continue losing because... Your fatigue indicates how likely you are to connect with someone. Oh, this is too easy. Fight, coward. I believe how much damage you do is dependent on your strength, and I am pretty strong, so I should be able to handle this guy. Wow, I didn't mean to actually hit him. Okay. My journal has been updated. I have to boot dude the drunken. Unfortunately, the situation came to violence, but it will knock him out before it became too ugly. All right. Uh, yep, you're not drunk. Taking care of all the problems? I have not yet. I mean, presumably not. Hey, where's my Sujama? What's taking so long? Hey, you don't look like the publican. Pelican. Publican? That's it. Publican. Republican? Pelican? Publican. That's it. Publican. Get out of my way. Hey, where's my Sujama? All right, but well, you're drunk. Sorry, but I don't have time to talk. I'm very busy. Wow, y'all are. I'm surprised to see you here. You have just nothing to say. I've heard to talk to you. Battle music is still playing. All right. Yeah. I've I've done all the problems. Taking care of everything. Fantastic. A thousand gold? Goodness gracious. <laughs> That's so much gold. All right. Uh, there's rumors. Did you hear that the guards caught and killed the thief who stole the bipolar blade from the Museum of Artifacts? Those artifacts are so valuable, as soon as Tarasa Aram reported the theft, immediate kill on sight orders went out to the guards. I don't know why anyone would be so stupid as to steal from the museum. I mean, where could you fence a priceless item like that? That's, uh... What is high pockets. Damn that villainous clay brain norm Nord, I hate him. I swear by the teeth of Molag Ball himself that I'll have revenge on that corpus licking ignoramus. Palmar, inside the bar there. I came for a drink, minding my own damn business, when that guar loving drunkard started raving and making fun of me. He grabbed me by the shirt, slid me across the bar, and then kicked me out the door. He'll be singing all of Saryani's sermons once I've had my revenge. Yes, that bastard of a slow sucking coxcum. <laughs> How would you like to help get in there and teach him uh, the flea-bitten, damp, damp worm-infested nor the lesson of his life? I don't have time for this. Well, Drat, you're no good. Milk-livered fool yourself, just like that Nord. Get out of here, Maga. Dude, I'm the Nerevar. Yeah, there's a desk upstairs. Okay. Greetings! I am Torsa Aram, curator of the Museum of Artifacts. The museum is privately funded in, in an effort to collect and display many artifacts from this part of the world. Should you want to sell something you feel the museum would be interested in, bring the item here and we can assess its value. Be warned, however, that theft is a serious matter and likely to equal a death warrant for any fool or any, any foolish enough to attempt it. Yes, that, that checks out. Uh, are there, are there supposed to be, are there supposed to be items? Famed artifacts of Tamriel. Visit below are some of the more storied items found throughout Tamrielic lore. The existence of some have been proven, while others 
may simply be stuff of legend. Regardless, these items have found their way into tales we tell our children, and our children will tell their children, and are inextricably linked to the Lord's Mail. <laughs> nice. Sometimes called the Armor of the Gifted Kinareth, this is an ancient kiras of unsurpassable quality. It grants the wearer the power to absorb health, resist the effects of spells, and cure oneself of poison when used. It is said that whenever Kinareth designs or deigns the wearer worthy, the Lord's Mail will be taken away unworthy. The Lord's Mail will be taken away and hidden for the next chosen one. Ebony Mail is a breastplate created before the history of Dark Elf, the Dark Elven Goddess Bo um, Boethia. It is she who determines who should possess the Ebony Mail for how long a time. Judge Worthy, uh, Spellbreaker, Chrysomir, Staff of Magnus, Warlock's Ring, Ring of Finister, Ring of Khajiit. Hundreds of years older than the Rajan, the thief was... Uh, the thief that made the ring famous. It was Rajan who used the ring's powers to make himself invisible and as quick as the breath of the wind. Using the ring, he became the most successful burglar in Elsewhere's history. Rajin's eventual fate is a mystery, but according to legend, the ring rebelled against such a constant use and disappeared, leaving Rajim helpless for his before his enemies. I think I have that ring. Mask of Cloudless File, Mayrin's Razor, Kiros of the Savior's Hide, Spear of Bitter Mercy, Daedric's Scourge, Bow of Shadows. Legend, the Bow of Shadows was forged by the Daedra Nocturnal, the legendary ranger. Rayless Guile was granted the bow for a secret mission that failed, and the bow was lost. Rayless did not go without a hearty fight, and is said to have, with the aid of the bow, taken scores against his, or scores of his foes with him. The bow grants the ability of an or ability of invisibility and increased speed. Many sightings of the bow have been recorded. It is even said that the sinister dark elf assassin of the second era drum once wielded this bow. Ice Blade of the Monarch, Ring of Surroundings, Boot of the Apostle, Mentor's Ring, Ring of the Wind, and Curic Ring. I do not recognize most of these. Okay. Uh, but I think I have the Ring of Khajiit. It might be back in Caldera. No, it's the Amulet of Shadows that I have. I do not have the Ring of Khajiit. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're looking empty. Stendar's Hammer. Well, you have one thing at least. And a desk. How are you today? Rumor has it the God of Justice himself wielded this hammer. I am inclined to believe it, as none the less than a god could ever hope to raise such a thing, let alone swing it. It took four men just lifted on the podium for display. That's it. Up to 30,000 gold. We have a limited budget, you see. All right. I believe half the value is a lot more than you're going to get for then with any of these traders because they they have a lot less gold than that for the uh expensive items. Uh oh, hey. This is the uh the the, the guy. The guy what has the the, the mage. Vela something or other. I am not being very sneaky right now. I wonder if I could still open the door with magic and no one would care. Uh, belt of opening. Which removes belt of the night eye. That's fine. Derp. I forgot to actually, uh change what spell I have. Life is a Let's try this again. Scroll down. Belt of opening. Nobody cares. Thrown by Night Eye again. You have Cactus. And 
the desk. Noticing a distinct lack of wizard. What's up here? The alchemist formulary. Healer's recipes to restore health for the afflicted wound combined to equal parts two or more of the following cheap and common ingredients. Marshmallow, wick wheat, cork, bulb, boot, and salt rice. Uh, crab meat, taken from the mud crab. Bread. Quama eggs, yeah. That's what I've been usually doing. Crab meat and quama eggs, I believe. Cure come a disease. Grave dust and green lichen. Feather. Uh, yeah, heather and scuttle. Definitely what I've been doing. Trauma root, racer plumes is what I've been doing for that. Water breathing, hackletoe leaf, and luminous racilla. Quama cuddle, right? That's what I usually use. Fortunately, the potions most require rare and expensive ingredients. Affordable recipe for fire shield. Cranberry and slowed soap. Fortify strength. Ashiams and draw wax. Yeah, draw wax is not very common, though. Visibility. Huh. Notice there's a distinct lack of anyone living in this house. Closet's empty. Drawers are empty. Well, now I gotta know. But I don't think I have very many uses on this belt of opening. Before... Runs out. Alright. Fortify Intelligence. Okay, so it's just a chest. Uh, just like a regular chest. I feel like I should be doing the ones that are a little more locked than that. Than 50. should start with the really heavy locks. Uh, like 75. Yeah, I think that's it. There's no, like, journal of... Velas, is there? No. 200 gold. Hopefully you have enough charge. Aha, you do. But that was the last one I have. You have, like, five gold in there. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh... Put on the night I built again. Have the entire set of Brief History of the Empire, several versions of all of the books. Missing anything. Does not appear to be. It's just. I mean, unless it's here, but I don't believe I have the lock picking required. I don't want to use these super lock picks. Because I'm pretty sure my security skill is nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. So it's not even going to let me try, I don't think. Nope. It does let me try. It's down to 24 uses. So I'm going to reload. Ah, save scumming. It's perfect. All right. Uh... So I'll come back when my belt is recharged. Am I missing like a door? No? No. There's no secret door, no secret passageways, nothing. It's just a empty house. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay. Hello, nice lady. You see Dilborn? Dilborn, my friend. Dilborn, gone three days now. And Thrud sad. A Dilborn, big mighty wizard. Dilborn, read books to Thrud. All the words. Big words, too. Alright, big words, too. Maybe three times. Now Dilborn, gone. No one read books to Thrud. Thrud sad. Thrud missed friend Dilborn. You help Thrud find Dilborn? Okay, I'll help. Thrud, happy, happy, Argonian. Find Dilborn now, yes? Thrud see Dilborn go down in sewers near here. Dilborn go to sewers to look to meet friends. Dilborn says, Most times Dilborn back soon and happy, happy. But Dilborn not back soon. We go to sewers to find Dilborn. Are you gonna come? Okay. Okay. I think this is a bad idea. But, sure, you can come along. Uh, I don't know where the sewer entrances are. So. Oh, there's one. I suppose I could spare a moment or two. You're a very finely dressed lady. I mean, I say that. I am literally in exquisite robes. Alright. I should probably be wielding some sort of spear. Hello. Alright. Goblins! You will die where you stand. Wow. Do you have like a sword that you're pulling out? Because you're, you're kicking butt. These goblins are no... Oh, you have an axe. Okay. <laughs> wow. Cool. I have been here before. All right. What was that? Oh, it looks like a it looks like a doll, like the two legs, like sitting upright. Ah, <sighs> are you? Oh, talking. there is Dilborn. Hello. Uh. Well, look what the scrib dragged in. I suppose you're here to rescue our little Dilborn, eh? Then I suggest you don't make any sudden moves. You see, when people owe me money, I get a bit touchy. Attack me. Attack me, and my men have orders to kill Dilborn first. Poor, naked, defenseless Dilborn. But if you're here to settle Dilborn's debts, we might be able to work something out. That's right, Argonian. We indulge in a bit of gambling down here from time to time, away from the prying eyes of the guards, you know. And Dilborn is one of my best customers. He currently owes, if my memory serves me right, yes, Dilborn owes me a sum total of 3,000 septums. Wow, it's a very nice round number for what he owes you. And he's not leaving here until he pays his debts. Uh, could you lower his ransom at all? Not for you, little middle, my little Argonian friend. All right, I can, I mean, it's 3,000. I can easily pay that. <clears throat> Alright, Alam, remove the braces. Dilborn, never show your face to me again, or I'll slice it off with a rusty spoon, you hear me? Okay. Hello, Dilborn. Thank you, Argonian. I'm in your debt. Alas, my present financial in financially embarrassed condition, it is a debt I cannot repay. I hope that, under the circumstances, your own virtue will be a sufficient reward. I assure you, I'm everlastingly grateful to be united by my, my faithful friend, Can you ask Thrud. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Dilborn back, Dilborn back, Dilborn. Thrud says Dilborn never go to sewers again. Here, Argonian, take Thrud's favorite book. It's very good. Many words on both sides of the page. Trap has been added to your inventory. I am curious. Wait. 250? My mystique and skill increased. I saw the gold and I took it. A different man might not have. I know that I... Or I know that, and from time to time... I think back on the hour when I saw the gold and took it. You see, I was hungry. Isn't it ironic? I don't remember much else about that night, but the gold and the hunger. I don't remember the name of the tavern or even the village, but I believe it was somewhere in the southern Vardenfell. I can't be certain. From time to time, I sat dumbly in my chair, my mind occupied with nothing but the pain in my stomach. If you've never been truly hungry from days of no food, you can't know what it's like. You can't concentrate on anything. It wasn't up in It wasn't until a figure to my left got up from the table to get a drink and left a stack of gold marks behind that I snapped to awareness. From this moment on, my memory is crystalline. My eyes to the gold. My eyes to the stranger's back, walking calmly toward the barmaid. 
my hand to the gold, the gold in my pocket. I'm up from the table and out the door. For just a moment, I look back. The stranger has turned to look my way. He wears a hood, but I can feel his eyes meet mine. I swear I sent a smile. How long is this? I don't want to read, like, a gazillion pages. Not too long. Out into the streets. Oh, uh, making a prediction. The guy purposefully let the gold be stolen. Out into the streets. And behind some barrows, I crouch down, waiting for my pursuer. One benefit of a lifetime of running from guards, I know how to disappear. For nearly an hour, I waited there, suffering even more from hunger. You see, I was awake now, and I had the means to buy myself a feast. This knowledge tortured me. When I finally got to my feet, I nearly fainted. I had only enough energy to walk to the other end of the village to a run-down tavern before collapsing at a table. I think I must have fallen unconscious for a moment before I heard the barmaid's voice. Can I get you something to eat, Sarah? I gorged myself on roasts and pies and huge frothing mugs of grief. As a fog of near fatal starvation began to lift, I looked up from my plate to see a gold masked stranger looking at me, his visage showing by the blinding, blinding light of the moon through the window. He wore black leather armor and was a different physique and size from the man I had burgled, but I could tell that he knew. I paid for my meal quickly and left. I screwed it. What, you just left him there? Not even like a, what are you doing here? Okay. I skirted at the edge of the village through a tiled central courtyard surrounding the Surrounded by the squalid peasant's cottage, there was not a light shining from any window or door. No one was on the streets. I could find no place to hide, so I took a roundabout of, of town, heading for the wilderness. Hunger had pushed me up, pushed me on in the days before, but now I felt what I imagined to be the whip of guilt, or perhaps even then it was fear. I fell twice, rushing down the dark path, unused to the slopes and pebbled texture, the sound of animal life, which I had numbed to were suddenly very loud in my ears, and there was something else out there in the night, something chasing me. On the side of the road, there was a low wall, and I scrambled over it and hid. I knew enough about concealment to pick a spot where the bulwark sunk slightly, so that even if someone saw the outline of my figure, you would assume to be it to be part of the wall. It wasn't long before I heard the sound of running footsteps from more, or from more than one person past me, and then stop. There was a moment of whispered conversation, and then the people ran back on the path toward the village, then silence. After a few more minutes, I peered out from behind the wall. A female figure in a dun gown, whipple, and veil stood in the road. On the other end of the road, blocking the way back to the town was a knight coated in dark mail. I could see neither of their faces. For a moment, I froze, unsure whether either or both had seen me. Run, said the woman in a dead voice. The hill behind me was too steep, so I leapt over the wall and across the road in two bounds. Into the night forest I ran, the maddening jungle, or jingle of the accursed gold in my pocket. I knew I was making so much noise that my pursuers could not help but hear me. But now I cared more for putting distance between us than in stealth. Clouds of ash f filtered through the moonlight, but I still knew it was too bright to hide. I ran and ran until I felt all my blood pumping in my head and heart, begging me to stop. I was at the edge of the wood, on the near side of a shallow screaming er, of a shallow stream from a vast, crumbling house encircled by a rail fence. Behind me, the running footfall on broken, dusty earth. To the south, downstream, a distant, sodden splashing of someone moving nearer. There was no choice. I half jumped and half fell into the mud and dragged myself up the bank on the other side. I rolled under the fence, ran through the open field toward the house. Drinking my head around, I saw seven shadowy figures by the fence post. The cloaked man I had robbed, the man in the gold mask, the veiled woman, the dark knight, three others, too, who had pursued me, but I had never seen. And I thought I was the stealthy one. The moon was entirely hidden in this swarm of ash. Only the stars offered their meager illumination as I reached the open door of the ruin. I slammed and bolted the door behind me, but I knew there could be no protection for very long. As I looked about the ravaged interior of the broken furniture, I searched for somewhere to hide. A corner, a niche, where if I stayed very still, no one would see me. A splintered table lay against the wall, looking perfect for my purposes. I crawled under it and jumped when something moved and I heard a frightened old man's voice. Who's there? It's all right, I whispered. I'm not one of them. His puckered, gnarled hand reached out from the shadow and gripped my arm. Instantly, I, I, fell I felt sleep upon me, resisted as I might. The old man's horrible face, the face of the hungry dead, emerged f as the moon came out and shone through the broken window. His talon still gripping me, I fell back, sm smelling his death surround me. The table was thrown back. There stood seven hunters and a dozen more. No hunters they weren't. They were harriers who had chased me out of every hiding place, expertly pushing me to the lair of the real predator. He was w weak with age, the old man was. Not as good at the chase as he once was a blunt killing machine please i said it was all i could muster 
Having enjoyed the sport I offered, he granted me the mercy of sorts. I was not blood dry. I was not cursed by being made one of them the burn. I, I was kept with others, most of us mad with fear, but aged and tasted at the vampire's whim. We are called cattle. I lost all hope months ago of ever leaving the dank cellar where they kept us. Even if this note finds its way to the outside world, I cannot give enough information about my whereabouts to res be rescued. Even if some champion were to able to defeat the bloodsuckers, I only write this to keep my own sanity and to warn others. There is something worse than being hungry, being food. Well, that's creepy. Uh... Southern Vardenfell. Okay. So it's somewhere we could presumably get to. Uh, if we look at the world map. Uh, you know, probably somewhere south of Balmora. It's only most of a continent. Uh, what's, what's up here? West sewers. I don't want to go to the west sewers. I want to go to the out. The outside sewers. Also known as the rest of Warnhold. Haha. <laughs> Jokes! They're funny. There we go. Uh, I, want, I want, wonder what's up with this lady who's just hanging out here in Any the back. Now. Can't talk now. I'm waiting for someone. Okay. Well, that someone isn't here. Do you mind telling me who you're waiting for? I could possibly find them. Uh, isn't Lethrin somewhere an important? Lethin? Fendus. I already went in there. There's no one there. Should ask around at rumors around the uh, the bar. That's the craftsman hall. Bar is across the street. Or kitty corner. Uh, Must you since I'm here, this is so are you speaking nice. to me, Argonian? I suppose you want some armor or steel or something or other, right? Well, why don't you just take your sniveling looks and ungrateful tone and talk directly to the smith? I'm just an apprentice. I've got nothing to offer the likes of you. I don't belong here. That's right, I'm too good for this place. Slaving over a hot forge is a job best left to the plebs. I mean, look at old Balls over there with his torn, sweat and saliva stained shirt. His head like a giant corpus infested melon and that faltered gait of his like a gwar with veneral warts. It's a wondering it's a wonder he even remembers to put on his pants in the morning. It really is. Now compare him with me. Yes, look at me. I'm the picture of perfection. Look at these nails. Do you know how much I had to pay those filthy lalu manicurists for these? Look at this flawless complexion, the ideal proportions of my body. Do you think the gods created such an image of majesty for the purpose of blacksmithing? Certainly not. My very naive friend, clearly I'm destined to become an adventurer. Do you mock me, pleb? I am. I aspire to the heights that you never dream of. I'm the Nerevar. <laughs> okay. Do you think monsters and evil men will stand any chance when they behold this majestic specimen of humanity striding towards them? No, they will quell and faint at the sight of me. I will weave, wave their corpses aside with a swipe of my hand. My greatness is inevitable. In fact, I believe I will start my adventuring just today. Mark my words, Argonian. Next time you come around, you won't find me here. Okay. I could hook you up with that one guy. Uh, it's probably in the, uh, the center of the city. Hello, Oregonian. Welcome to my shop. Have you come for a piece of my famous custom armor? I see you've already met the acquaintance of my charming apprentice, Enori Faustus. I, he's my apprentice. At least the last Imperial apprentice I'll ever be forced into taking, that's for sure. He doesn't do a lick of work, preferring to sit around cleaning those damned fingernails of his and telling me what a bloody oaf I am. I doubt he'll be around much longer to bother me. He seems to draw breath like a lodestone. Er, he seems drawn to death like a lodestone. That makes more sense. Also, I feel like I should, could try to do a dark elf voice, but I feel like that would be a disaster. I make ebony armor and glass armor to order, but my specialty is adamantium armor. There's adamantium ore in the rock beneath Marnhold, and my family has been adamantium crafters for generations. You supply the adamantium ore and pay for the work, and I'll provide you with a custom adamantium armor. Here, I've had a list of armor requirements and prices printed up. Look it over if you're interested. If you have the adamantium ore and the gold, speak to me again, and we'll write up an order. 
Okay, goodbye. Need custom armor. I'm the one you want. Uh, this is adamantium armor. It's very shiny. What do you want? I'm here to make weapons, not chat. Little rumors. None of the tribunal have been seen in public for years. I know the strain of the war with Dagoth Ur has kept them busy. What well, good is it having living gods if you never see them? There are many creatures beyond the sea. Must. This yes, is adamantium boots as well. I believe adamantium is a heavy armor, so it's not very useful for me. You have lots of gold. Could probably sell you weapons, maybe? Salutations, Argonian. Would you like to look over my wonderful collection of clutter? Perhaps you would even consider helping me fill out my collection. Ah, oh, beautiful, glorious clutter. I can't get enough of it. You know what I'm talking about, Traveler? Clutter is everywhere you look. Tamriel's residences are filled with enough worthless housewares to choke a wild Kugarti. Tables full of plates and utensils, bottles upon bottles upon bottles, barrels and baskets filled with pillows. These are my consuming passion. I'm a collector, you see. I think my collection of Marwin's clutter is virtually incomplete. Take a look around. While my shelves full are full of while my shelves full of Marwin's clutter are impressive, they are not yet definitive. I am looking to recruit a brave and stalwart adventurer to become my champion of clutter, venturing into the world and seeking the items I need to complete my collections. Are you interested? Of course I will reward you well. Uh sure. Fabulous! I require two items for my Imperial collection at the moment. The first is a bolt of Imperial rat hair fabric. It is easier to recognize by its burgundy color and diamond patterns on the side. The second is a brushed silver pitcher. Please return when you have these two items. Okay. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? You do have an impressive collection of clutter. I like it. It looks like just a regular house, just because it's clutter. Versus like over here, where this is definitely Can like a trader. What with me? their enchantry stuff. Okay, that was exciting. I wonder if I leave and come back. Will he still be there? Nope. He is gone. I wonder if we can find him again. What is this about? <sighs> All right, I'm listening. There's a Nord in here that that guy didn't like. I don't know where. Must be downstairs. Greetings, friend. I'm up for I conversation you. if you care to talk. Hello. Are you both just gonna dirt, sit dirt, there? Dirt everywhere, dirt. Okay, you are both just gonna sit there. Sorry, I'm very busy. Don't have time to talk. Can you ask your question quickly? I must be going. Latest rumors. You're a lot more refined right, than most then. tourists I'm I've met. <laughs> I like that. Yes. You're both just going to sit there. Ah, I've made it past. Haha. -ha! Take that. Uh God's reach. Yeah, okay. Very surprised to see you here. Do you have something to say, Argonian? How can Ratesh help you? Rumors. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, a little secret. Black Dark Kings. Yeah, but not. Okay. Ask around. Sell is the name. Shells the game. All right. No mention of. What exactly do you recall? I'm going to have to define intervention my way out of here, or almost have the intervention my way out of here. All right. Uh, let's see if we can find that wannabe adventure. 
Well, 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 look at who it is. My dear friend Motothusis. Just my luck that you should stumble in here. Ha, indeed, it seems my good fortune knows no bounds. Despite my mistreatment at your hands, I've found riches able to influence just about everyone I talk to. And y can you believe I've never lost a fight? Never even gotten a scratch. Somehow I don't think I have a problem continuing this streak. And I owe you. Ow! Oh, you... How did you get... This is the guy I threw out. How did you get full ebony armor? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do this. Wow, you have a lot of health. I noticed that when I was uh, when I accidentally punched him the one time, he did not go down. Health bar, not at all. So I do have a ring of health that should be helping me, but I might have to take an actual potion. Uh, let's do a cheaty potion, because why not? I have lots of them. And now I am invincible. In fact, so invincible. Let's switch this out to a long sword. Aha! Ouch. So yeah, like heavy weapons like that um, can knock knock your opponent over. You'll notice I was doing that earlier. Okay, this is taking forever. You have agility up the wazoo, don't you, Mr. Argonian? Or not Argonian. Uh, wood Elf. Alright, let's go back to... Uh, can I Claymore? Alright, let's just go back to Spear. Uh, I can actually hit him with a spear at least. Wow, you have so much agility, it's ridiculous. I can actually probably hand to hand him until he passes out, and then keep hand to handing him. What is your deal, dude? Why do you have ebony armor, is my question. Why are you so stocked up on just everything? I guess this makes more sense why I was given a thousand gold for that quest. You should run now. Eventually, his armor is gonna get taken down eventually it'll happen at some point I'd have to look it up but I think enemy armor is decent for enchanting so I could potentially transition to a suit even though I'd never get the helmet on because it's a full helmet and I'm a beast race The fight would be so much harder if I wasn't actually invincible right now. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Also, my uh, spear is getting a little damaged, so I'm going to refresh it. What do I have? Lifting ring, the one ring. Right. <laughs> the one ring. I forgot that I called it that. <laughs> Dang it. Stop knocking me over. It's no fair. You have so much health. Why do you have so much health? And again, this isn't... Pretty sure this isn't his armor being so strong. It's that 
I mean, because when he was armorless and I punched him. Uh, he also did not have, like, his, his health decreased a very tiny amount. And although my hand-to-hand -hand skill is really bad, I'm pretty sure it's also dependent on strength, and my strength is at 100. So I should have done some damage to him with hand-to-hand. -hand. I like how the guards are just chill. thought about trying to make a character in Morrowind that's based off of reducing the enemy's stats. Like, damage health, damage strength, damage agility, all of that stuff, until they're basically worthless in a fight, and then just, like, punching them to death. That would be kind of fun, actually. Like, damage all of their... Like, damage their strength so they have to drop all their equipment. Damage their agility so they can't... Fortify luck. Oh, that's a decent amulet. <laughs> Look at that condition of the shield. It is almost destroyed. Yeah. You have a full set of ebony armor. Oh, I'm going to take it all. I'm not going to be able to take it all. Well, I will. Because I have feather. Uh, I have ultra feathers. Water walking, water walking. Feather is going to be up here in the feather section. Feather. A jillion. Less than a jillion. Let's do the less than jillion. There we go. <laughs> uh, Great Bazaar, sure. should find a way to store, or a place to store all of this armor, because this ebony armor, it's a full set, I can t put it to my base in Caldera. Caldera. Wow, I just merged Caldera and Balmora into a single entity. Um, I think it's okay to put it here. Just like, in the corner here. Because it's not stolen. I won it fair and square. Uh, I'm gonna save ebony armor storage. I'm gonna dump it here. Actually, I'm going to repair it and then dump it. Let's get rid of all of our bound stuff. Yeah, I did the beat down on his armor. And he did the beat down on my armor as well. Master's hammers. But I don't want to use those. Uh, there's an armor over here. Just sell me. It's not the not you. It's not you. It's the middle one on this side, I believe. Armor! Ha ha! I win. Uh barter. I'll take this. All of it, please. Thank you. Do I have anything to sell you? Uh, no. Wow, you have 10,000 gold. Okay. You 
Um, he just appeared out of nowhere. Greetings, fair citizens of Mornhold. I am the great, renowned, respected, and feared wizard, Ovis Velas. In the coming weeks, you shall see more and more of me as I bring this city to its knees. But before, allow me to demonstrate my power on one of your hapless countrymen. You there. Yes, you ugly Argonian. Prepare yourself to feel my wrath, you Inwa. Okay. Uh, first off, you're a jerk. Um... A worn key. Okay. Magically appeared before me. Announced he was going to put a display of power and attack me. He went down far too easily and sc scarcely harmed me. <laughs> I wonder what this could mean. It's just, it's just a single poke with a spear. It's like, no. Bad. Alright, let's go back to here uh, and do our continue. Oh, right. There we go. Actually, let's... There we go. If I remember correctly, I found a bug that was duplicating the glass tower shields. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be duplicating the glass tower shields anymore. Uh, so let's come around here... Throw out the, uh, uh, Kiros, Greaves, right, I can move the boxes, boots, uh, left pauldron is this side, left bracer is down here, right bracer is over here. Right, Baldwin. We've got the shield and the sword. And I may as well drop the claymore that I'm not going to use. Uh, and I don't think I need the Wazaki with me at all times. Uh, I also don't need my glass bracers. Because I'm going to be wearing... Right... That's only when I'm wearing the battle skirt. Because I haven't enchanted the bracers. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, cool. Not to be confused with the town of cool. Alright, now just to test that I can pick it up. Yep, everything's fine. Now it's not in the right orientation. I'm being very derpy with this. There we go. Uh, and I don't know how well that affected my weight because I am super feathered right now, but it should, should have done a fair bit since all that stuff was pretty heavy. Um, okay, so once his face died, uh, I have already pillaged his house. And by pillage, I mean just poked around. Uh, I wonder if there is a more eligible bachelor. For that lady. Uh. Receive the blessings of Al Malexia. Our wealth dies with us, my child, but our good deeds outlive us all. Maybe we care a donation. Here's five gold for the temple. What's she gonna do with this money? Watches her children, the sick, the needy, and the poor. Well, not actually in person. She used to in person, you know, but she's made no public appearance for years. The temple can take care of her children for her. That's what the money goes to. You know about Almsavi, the living gods of our temple. Gods, but at the same time, living folks like you and me. Almalexia, the Lady of Mercy, walked the streets of Mornhold herself, healed the sick, fed the poor, gave them clothes from her own hand. The same with Lord Vivek. Then, ten years ago, about the time, same time of the ghost fence, they stopped appearing in public. Needed all Almsavi's powers for, for the ghost fence, they said. High priests still talk with them, but we don't see them. Almalexi is the mother of us all, healer and protector, always has been. I suppose she doesn't seem that way now. It's the war with Dagoth Ur. It's hard on all of us. She's had to change to toughen herself and her followers. It's true that sometimes dis dissenters disappear when they question her doctrines. The hands of Almalexi are more like inquisitors than knights of loving mercy. And Mornhold doesn't feel like the much like the city of love anymore, but hard times demand hard gods. 
Go on Malexi's personal guards. The body and soul, scimitar and armor, fortified by demand enchantments. Pledge to honor and protect the lady er, and serve Almalexia in all ways. They used to spend much of their time punishing criminals and protecting the people. Now they spend all their time protecting Almalexia. I suppose that's right, but it makes me uneasy. Sends the wrong signal. Vengeful might rather than vigilant mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do I want to check the courtyard? Go straight to the... Uh Thank you for everything. You're welcome, I guess. Vacant manor? Uh, that means this is the house. Oh. Why, hello there. I wouldn't have expected to see the Nereverine here in Mornhold. You're in God's Reach. Okay. How nice you could stop by. Huh. Did I break the game by uh, unlocking the door and sneaking in here? Pretty sure he was supposed to say something to me, other than that. Um, yeah, your house is still boring. How nice. How nice. Okay, we're just gonna drop your key. Have fun. Yeah, that was the, uh, that was the key. Yeah, I think I broke that quest. What's in the vacant manor? The common tongue. Mysteries of the West. I have a little list. All three ribs and... Oh, right. We've read this. Uh, okay. Oh. Scramflower. All right, we can well, talk. Yes. Manor Thank isn't so vacant. You, you have no business. Tur suggest you turn around. Don't recall... Can't be trusted. Keep walking. I can charm, charm you to death. Look, I'm not in charge. Talk to Drover, okay? Okay. Fine. I will charm you then. Charming charm. No business. Hmm. At a second glance, perhaps I shouldn't be just so dismissive. You seem a rather resourceful sort. We're at a interesting or er, investing in the future. You see. The city right now exists under a blanket of fear. A blind guar can see the tension between the Imperials and the temple will soon be boiling over in the streets. When that happens, it's going to be every Argonian for himself, yes? Well, we're stockpiling, just for that occasion. Which certainly is inevitable at, point. at this point. Maybe you can assist us. You know full well what we need. We also know... Or, we know full well what we need. We also know, however, that we can't make waves until the time is right. Our actions would surely be misinterpreted, and we'd be treated like common criminals. While these fat cats, like Sos um, Sosian, walk about in broad daylight as if they were saints. Oh, I'm sure you've noticed him strutting around as if you're a lord Vivek himself. Of course, and no one mentions the horrible things he's done to get where he is. And for what? He's just another noble. Something Mornhold has no use for. The tools he used to step on others and get where he is today. Now those Mornhold has use for. Indeed, I have use for them. Would, would you be willing to get them? Excellent. Though this might idea may seem distasteful at first, I assure you you're doing all a favor, both of these. And of course, there's money in ca in case the burden of guilt should that be a problem for you. Just bring me his sword and kiros, and the money is yours. You'll likely find him wasting time at that damn bar. OK. 
Okay. So they're just waiting for the apocalypse, I guess. Oh, right. I need to put on my amulet of Never Tired. Oh, right. This is the uh, this is the bar. Oh, Outlander, did you want? You've won me over. Uh. I like steal it off of him. This is not gonna go well. He has nothing as an inventory. All right. I'm not gonna murder him in cold blood. That's just ridiculous. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I will just not do that quest. Hmm. What else is there to do? Uh, I could go find... What's his face? That one wannabe adventurer. God. Good to see you again. Of the night. Hey! I'm available for hire. Oh, okay. They're deadly. They look like harmless beggars. Yada, yada, yada. Latest rumors. Apart from Helseth's royal guards in the hands of Almalexia, which you've got no business filling around with, I did the Black Dark Gang. Okay. So you're just available for hire. That's less interesting. Uh, I could just go back to Morrowind and drop stuff off at. Caldera. I think that's a good idea. Uh, this this way. Morrowind. Back to Vardenfell. We're in Morrowind. We don't leave Morrowind until we get to Solstheim. Take all this while I'm still lightheaded. By lightheaded, I mean light-footed because of the, the, the feather, the potion of forever feather. Uh, I'm going north, which is this way. Going the other way, towards the gate. All right. I uh, forget how to actually get back to Vardenfell, though. It's a mage somewhere in here. What is it? F -A -T? What do you oh. want? Yeah, let's go back. Yes, please. On your way, then. Ah, good old, good old Vardenfell. Uh, I need to find a. Mage's Guild. The closest one's probably in Vivek. Or, there's a boat here. I could take the boat to Balmora. That might be faster. Uh, right. Right, you have to, like, go through... Go through the Grand Council Chambers, don't you? Yeah. No? No? Maybe not. Yes. Yes, you do. Or I could just jump. Because I can just do that. Excuse me. Coming through. Man, this is a maze. Alrighty. Uh, you are the transport, I think. Travel. Yes. Uh... Heck. Uh, Vivek, I guess. Right. Belmora doesn't have that. Short trip, long trip. You just uh, but they do have a Silt Strider that goes to Balmora. I think it would be quicker to take the Silt Strider to Balmora and then run to the Mage's Guild than it is to climb the Canton and go to the Mage's Guild that's just within sight. Of course, this will just make my... 
feather run out, and then I'm gonna have to take another forever feather. Nope, I'm still alive. Come this way. Travel. Caldera. You seem like very good company. Hello. How about a potion today? I already have a full ebony set of armor. Except for shield. Now I have a shield. Pretty sure I have a longsword over here, too. Yeah. I do. Well, now I have two. That's not where I wanted to put it. Boom. Uh, Where's my Daedric stuff? This is my Nerevar stuff. That's my Nerevar pile. Here's my Daedric stuff. Wow. Nope. It's like, do a little curve to that way. Not quite enough. That's close enough. I have a Wazaki in my hand, but there's a Wazaki right there. I have two Wazakis. And a katana. Why am I carrying around the wazaki when I could have carried around the katana? It's lighter? Yes. It's significantly lighter. How much is the wazaki? 48. Okay, I'm just going to drop it. That's ridiculous. Am I being ridiculous? No. I'm not being ridiculous. I need to go Hello sell some friend. of this stuff. How about a uh... I forget where the heavy armor merchant or the high high money merchants are. It's not like I'm gonna be able to sell more than one piece anyway. Uh, so let's go here. Let's actually go to Vivek. Uh, we'll go back and try to sell some of this armor. Welcome our ah! Let's set aside our differences. Okay. That was, you were very close to the teleport pad. Well, Whoop! Too far. What should we talk about? Uh, talk about you getting out of the way. And crash. GG. No re. Can I have my mouse back? Thank you. All right, uh, let's wait for it to come back up so I can restart the game. Well, it's good to know that I actually don't have... I have all of this stuff already, except for the Daedric Daikatana, or the Daedric Greatsword. Uh, so I don't need to actually travel all the way back to Vardenfell. I can just sell all of this. Oh, I need to keep the shield. I need to keep the Daedric Greatsword. That's it. The rest of the stuff is sellable. If I can. Uh, so I need to go to... This way. Sure. What is that? So th is that Almalexi killing... Is that Molag Ball? Mayrin's Dagon, right. She just obliterated Mayrin's Dagon. Huh. Find the story of that uh, statue. I just also make sure that people have money. Right. 
killed that guy. Uh, you, do you have any money left? Barter. You do. Carry 10,000. Should have put the armor on the other side. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, 10,000. Carry the boots at least. I'll take the, uh, pop the shield down there. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's basically it. I'm sure I'll drain you just by selling you these things. Harder. Um, boots. Bracer. Other bracer? Okay, can I take something back from you then? Like if I take... No, I'm just gonna sell or max that. Thank you, come again. All right. I am 10,000 gold richer. Not that it matters, but I am. Ooh, that's a very fancy key. Fenton Manor. Uh, let me do something. One of you, the general merchant, maybe? Or the pawnbroker. The next one over is the trader. Do you have any money? No. Do you have a silver pitcher? You do. I'll take that. Do you have, like, cloth? Probably not. Do not appear to have the cloth. Okay, that's fine. Can I barter you down to 25 gold? 27 gold. Fine. Do you have any money? probably wouldn't talk to me and I just dropped the moon sugar and I forgot to pick it up. <laughs> Woman, it's all pointless. No, we're not. Okay. So you're looking for a woman. Uh, you don't have a silver pitcher. You don't... Um, you neither have uh, the cloth. It does not appear to. Uh, you do have 8,000 gold. So I will be back. With the right deal. 8,000 is what I'm looking for. So I could probably sell something that's got like... The helmet? Yeah, I can sell the helmet. Cannot sell the Wazaki. Hopefully you accept helmets. I should have probably checked that first. Barter. Take that. Ooh! I'll take that. Can I bump you up to a nice even six six grand? Nice. Bah, women. There's no happiness to be found. No lasting happiness anyway. It's all a sham, but I don't always think so. So I had a wife once. I was madly in love with her, but then my foolishness took her away. And now here I am, bitter alone, tired of life, and I have little else to do with women, that's for sure. That's what it was, all right. The folly of youth had dreams, aspirations. I foolishly followed them, took my wife to Vardenfell for what was supposed to be a great adventure. I paid for my foolishness, paid in full. Fortunately, my wife was made to pay as well. She caught the blight shortly after arriving, and her frail constitution couldn't handle it. I lost her to the dam damn disease, and it ruined me. No one could replace her. None of the women I've ever known could replace her. Okay. You have a question. She seemed like a decent fellow, at least. Way better than the other guy. Uh, him. So, I might talk to her and tell her about this uh, merchant. Meet someone new. Hard to tell. Or I have to tell you up front that I'm very apprehensive about all this. I'm taking a big risk here. Not to mention that I need to leave for work in a bit. So you better be right about this. If you found someone who's all wrong for me, I'll simply never forgive you. Okay. Isn't that silly of me? Let no falsehoods uh, I should probably 
look around a bit then. Hmm. Just to make sure. Cannot ask you about women. Okay. I mean, he seemed like a nice man. Alright. Does Alma Alexia have anything for me? Because if not, I might just skip town and do uh, Blood Moon stuff. Because I don't know actually where this ends. Alma Alexia knows and sees. I have nothing more to say about this thing. Wow, why don't you like me? It's a little bit weird. If something comes up, you'll be informed. Eh, like... Hello? There's there something else? There's much... You'll speak to me, Maybe. I'm sure. Okay. Maybe I just have to... Nap for 24 hours. Uh... Get which way? This way. Poke around God's Reach for people who will talk about women. What about you? Yep, I'm still hopeful. Do you, do you like have any? Listening. Who are you? Gonna make Hello, each day. Hey, can I have a bed? I hope you won't take too much of my time. There we go. What's your I think it's this door. I get through. Thank you. What just happened? Amulet of verbosity. <laughs> I don't think anything took off or came off. Sleep again because I'll need to rent the bed again. You have something to say. Hey, they moved. Huzzah! Uh, okay, so there's the merchant who seems like a nice guy. Question mark. The guy is definitely not a good person. I must be going, so if you could make it quick. Have you heard? The city's under attack. Enchanted machines have burst into the plaza and are killing everyone. They need your help. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um. Which way is the plaza again? South. Hulking fabricant. have hulking fabricant elixir fortify strength wow that's handy verminous fabricant elixir wow just walk right in the way there it's fine thank you with my spear it's not my fault don't mind me i'm just uh Taking time to harvest. Wow, there's a mess of things over here. 
Journal has been updated. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't. All right. It's hulking. Hulking verminous. Justice hulking. Okay. Well, that was my journal. I have, the creatures have been defeated. The plaza is in ruins. Oh, wow. They Justice obliterated the statue. I mean, the rest of the plaza is fine. Uh, what was that Justice about? The attack must be reported. We will stay here and guard it. Go tell Tienda's Delatin. Run! What about the Ordinator? <laughs> Fedris Hilaire must be told of this attack. Yeah, so this is like a... I'm, I'm guessing more of like a choose your... Choose your side thing. Uh, still not going to go with the Empire. It's going to go with the, uh, the... Temple. Not the great... I mean, they're not the greatest. Uh, Hi. not you. You need to be told. Heard about the attack on the city. Good that you reported to me, though. I've sent some high ordinators to deal with the situation. You can help me another way. I want you to investigate the disturbance. These attacks are an affront to the city and to the lady. We must learn more about them. I understand a passage is opened up in the plaza that leads to some to of ruins. The memorial statue has been destroyed and the entrances have been discovered in the rubble from which the creatures emerge. Perhaps these things are of Dwemer origin. I've been told that they look at least partially mechanical. Investigate these ruins, Motifusis, and report your findings to me immediately. like around the base of the statue or is it just like literally under the statue looks like there's a hole here but it's not a doorway I can enter oh there is a doorway it's a ladder Bams Amshend I do have night eye on don't I belt of night eye I do uh, I have my battle skirt on? I do not. Which ups my armor a whole three points thanks to the Kuros. Which is apparently... What's my light armor? Apparently not great. 45. Did I take medium armor? Why though? Okay. The mechanical beasts are fighting each other. On the red team, we have the... I forget what they were called. On the yellow team, we have the Dwemer. Ow. Jerks. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> You're not supposed to kill the announcer. Uh, the Dwemer won. These are, these hit like a truck, so, small restore health. Okay, I just one-shotted that guy. Ouch. I like that you can see the bolt flying through the air. Uh, they're kind of worthless, and the scrap metal is... Restore intelligence. Is that okay? Do I have restore intelligence? I do. Ruby. But I won't take it. Uh, I'm going to take Fabricants. Yes. Blue team was Fabricants. Red team was the Dwemer. Pillage all of these corpses. I don't believe the uh, these things can run out of ammo, uh, so you can't just uh, 
wait for them to run out of ammo like you can wait for things to run out of magicka. Alright, let's go to the Passage of Whispers. See what there is to see. There is a spider. These have uh, soul gems in them in Skyrim, I believe. It's kind of creepy. Dwarf and Halbrit. Two of them with Kyrasis. Okay. Hello. I didn't see how much damage you do. I don't think you did that much damage to me. That's interesting. The uh, sphere archers hit like a truck. Yeah, look at that. That's interesting. So when the uh, thing fails, when my potion fails, 20 to 50. Uh, you can throw those in a crossbow, by the way, the darts. Uh, the guy upstairs had a crossbow for sale. Uh, it's marksman, so I don't think I'm actually very good at marksman because archery is super overpowered in this game, like it is in Skyrim. Uh, marksman, yeah, I have nothing in marksman. Of course, I say it's overpowered and I became an enchanter, so, you know. Take my words with a grain of salt, because I definitely cheesed this game. I have potions that make me invincible. Yeah, he doesn't do too much damage. Uh, it's probably enough to be worrying if I didn't have the potion active. I thought that said Masked Centurion there for a second while I was fighting him. Uh, let's check through here. That is quite the thing. Oh, hello, Ultra Centurion. Bunch of scrap metal, because they were working on him. Spoiled Dwemer Oil. Uh. Ooh, books. Appears to be a manual on fabrication of metals. Sure, take it. Might be useful. You probably have coins. Nope. Cylinder. Coiner. On machina power consumption. Oh, the ash... Right, the ash piles are uh, the Dwemer. So, like, there was literally a Dwemer guy working here on this Centurion when uh, Kakranak used the tools at the Battle of Red Mountain and turned everyone to ash. There was literally a Dwemer at this desk working at the time. Ditto for this Dwemer. See, he's building something, building a hand. And he is building presumably a shield of sorts. Yeah. This was, a, this was a construction area that was actively in service during the Battle of Red Mountain. Presumably there will be a key. Could open it. But I have learned that lock 100 doors are the game's way of saying, essentially, this lock needs a key. Passage of the Walker. Collapsed rocks. Okay. Cannot activate the collapsed rocks. So, we can go back the way we came and go up a different way. So there are two doors. Uh, 
I like how this, this ruin looks different than the other Dwemer ruins in Vardenfell. Like, it's different architectural styles, different hallway designs. It's a neat little touch. Hello. Yeah, you don't do too much damage. I'd much rather take on two of you than two of the... Heck, even one of the Centurion Spheres. Uh, let's go through the Hall of Whales, sure. I also like the electric lighting. Uh, somewhere in Dwemer was. Ooh, emerald. Don't mind if I do. Take the coin. It's pretty sure. The uh, Dwemer sleeping here at the time does not need it. Hello. Oh, jeez. Well, Pete's. You know, I could do. Train my sword. glass uh glass helms are they do i have a helmet right now yes i have a i have a circlet i don't know if that counts as a helmet i think it does which is why i'm not wearing any sort of headgear but i might be able to wear a helmet on top of that which would be nice do i even have a helmet no do not. Old Dwemer book. Appears to be a manual on combustibles and fire safety. Dwemer airship plans. Yes, please. Cogs are so heavy. You had a mace. I don't... Oh, you're sitting here. Oh, there's two of you. They're eating at the table or something. When disaster struck. You're coming into this room. Or leaving this room. Presumably coming into this room. There's someone sleeping. Uh, so I think this person was coming in for some... Uh, Woohoo. When the disaster struck. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. I think something else was going on in this particular room. Um, yeah. Because that is right outside the door. Like, right there. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> I, love, I love that sort of storytelling. There is definitely a story there. Um, 
that I am not going to spell out verbally. That's hilarious. Okay. I've been down here before, haven't I? No. No, I have not. Alrighty. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Okay. Other way then. Go through this door. Nope, other door. Go through that door. Oh, hello. Hey, my potion is worn off. Goodbye. Oh. You're not an archer. Or you just ran out of bolts. Maybe they do run out of bolts. I should test this theory. You're not an advanced centurion, you're just a regular centurion. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Ouch. Right, you can do that. I forgot about that. But I can make you stumble too. Ha ha ha. Alright, you had a sword. And you were working on stuff. Just a bunch of scrap metal and probes. Lockpicks. See, crossbow. You can take the crossbow, you can arm it, and then you can then fill it with uh, bolts. And it does damage. All right, just a bunch of tubes and piping. Pipe fitting, let's take it. You had a war ax, these, these guys were armed. <gasps> a locked chest, I wonder if there's a key somewhere. One of these ash piles, presumably there is a key. Uh, cog replacement maintenance, high quality stuff there. That's definitely an axe. Presumably if there's a key, it would be like next to one of the ash piles, right? Like visible. Oh, hello. Nice machine. Boots, pauldron, boots. Racer. Presumably there's an ash pile underneath that. Yeah. No key, though. I'm going to put the ash pile back because I do not need it. Uh, I'm also going to put the boots back because I do not need them. Manual and machinery maintenance. I wonder if uh, the last living dwarf can translate some of this. That would be fun to take it to him and just like get all of the tutorials on how to dwarf completely uh, revolutionize Vardenfell's uh, technology and economy by restoring all of the dwarven ruins. Hello! I like the subtitles in this game. And poor person who is told to... Alright, you gotta spell... Ugh! <laughs> 
Uh, so that was nothing. There was nothing in here. Uh, except for whatever's in this chest. Which, it's time for the belt of opening. There was nothing in that chest. Boo. Alright. Belt of Night Eye. I have a... Right, I have a shield. I knew that. Okay. Is there anything in this chest? Right, there was the... Uh, the... The thing. Uh... Okay. Let's, uh... Dispose of all these corpses. Huh. Is that everything? like I'm missing something. Right, has my journal been updated? Ah. Battling. The Dwemer creatures seem to be defending the ruins against the invading cons constructs. Constructs. Their origin is still a mystery, but it appears that they're not of Dwemer. Make. This is true. I should fetch more darts, though. Uh, I forget who, where the darts were. This probably has some. Water channeling and pressure. This does have some. When my feather wears off, this dwarven crossbow is going to become very burdensome. Actually, I don't think so. It's only 10. It's not too bad. And I think how archery works is unlike... Uh, melee weapons, it's not chance to hit, it's just the your skill affects how much damage you do with it, but I might be wrong about that. If I'm not wrong, then that makes it a lot easier to uh, level than melee stuff. Alright, uh... I need to report back to What's-Her-Face, which is straight through the wall. Yeah. What's-Is-Face? I mean, oh, gates cannot be opened, right. Straight through the other side. Right, isn't Mornhold under, like, a quarantine? Because of light, I think? It's funny that no one's like, hey, there's this, the Nerevar came here. How is the, uh, how's the quarantine still in effect? You say these new creatures were fighting with the Dwemer creatures? This is very disturbing. Only someone with great power can control these fabricant creatures. I'm Alexia will be interested to hear the news. I'm sure she'll have some insight in it. What, you haven't told Alma Alexia about the attack in the plaza yet? Many Greetings, Motifu. Oh. It is good to see you again. Dear Phaedrus has told me more about your work so far here in Mortal. He suggested I might find your services useful. After some consideration, I have decided that there may be a task for you to complete. Since the horrendous attack on the city, there have been some alarming developments. One of the most troublesome has been a cult that has recently formed, led by a young dungeon named Eno Romari. They call themselves the end of time. In these troubled times, I fear the cult is gaining in popularity. The leader of this real cult. He resides in Mourn, though he is not known to have a permanent residence. He is dangerous, as he spreads discontent among my people. He is not to be killed, though. I want no martyrs to this madman's cause. Very little is known about him yet. 
but there is one very disturbing fact we have on them. Many of their members have been found dead. At least seven of them have been found so far, all dead, all in their home. It appears they ingested a strong poison, and not even my magics could revive those who were found. We must find out what drives this group and rid my city of their presence. Speak with Marilyn often at the Great Bazaar. Her brother Sebel was one of those found. Learn what you can about them, and of this Eno will marry. Take care of him, though. The words of a martyr cry louder than those of a zealot. Look for her in the bazaar. Marilyn Alton's brother. All right. He was found dead. Don't need to hear your every spoken line. Uh, bazaar is this way. Right? Yes, good. Uh, I think Mathari is one of these people. Right, that's the, uh, that's the newspaper. Meat. Get your scribs or rats. Right. Ah. Uh, well, I guess I go f looking, or poking around in here. Hello. I don't know if I can help you, but uh, I'll try. Nope. Whatever you want, within reason. Do you know about? No. Okay. It's not you. You're the guy. Well, yeah. Live in you. Peace Greetings. May I, how may I help you? Uh, ask about Seville. You heard about my brother. It's hard to imagine he's gone. All would be well if you hadn't fallen in with the Eno Romari, or with Eno Romari, <coughs> and those end time end of times lunatics. Seville was a lonely man, a bit lost, but he was hardly stupid. It was that cult that caused his death. A lunatic, Motothusis. You'll often find him outside the winged war, spouting his nonsense to passers-by and to the drunk stumbling out of the tavern. They're a suicide cult, plain and simple. Their beliefs are destructive, heretical, and frightening to me. I don't know how my brother could have gotten involved with them. I'm beginning to see them all over the city, but you'll most often find them in God's Reach, outside the winged war. They preach that the tribunal have lost their powers, and that this is a sign that the apocalypse is near. Eno Romare teaches his followers that our time in Tamriel is at an end, and the gates of Oblivion will soon open, and the Daedra will walk the land. Only the ancestors who have already left this world will remain once the Daedric scourge, or scourge covers the earth. And so he promotes what he calls the cleansing. It is a ritual suicide, Motothusis. My brother was no fool, but he was a trusting person, always looking for someone or something to believe in. He thought he had found that in the end of times. Okay, so he's crazy. Clearly the, uh, I mean, surely there's some sort of magic that's preventing the Oblivion Gates from opening. So that's not a problem that we have to worry about anytime soon. Although presumably the Tribunal has lost their power since we have destroyed the Heart of Lorcan. Oh, hello. <laughs> you must be Eno Romari. <laughs> I wonder what this guy in pure white robes is. My greetings and blessings to you. I am Eno Romari. How may I help you in your journey through this life? How may I uh, ease your mind? Our beliefs are very simple, my dear friend. The Blessed Tribunal, though once filled with glory, are no longer the gods they once were. As with the tides and Tamriel's moons, all cosmic powers will wax and wane. But when God's diet creates ripples through the land, the passing of the three will prelude to the end of this era and the beginning of the next. The followers of the end, end of times are making ourselves ready for this to happen. 
We are a peaceful group dedicated to relieving the suffering of all feeling, er, all to the, <coughs> dedicated to relieving the suffering all are feeling in these troubled times. I teach my followers the way to enlightenment through understanding of what is happening in our world and what will come in the next. All my power and, or er, all of my people know the importance of preparedness for the coming troubles and many are willing to make the great sacrifice for our cause. We realize that the end of the era will bring many changes. We believe that the gates of oblivion will open and that the multitude of Deja will roam this world freely. Some might tell you that this is a good thing, that we are descended from Daedra and it will be a, a return to the natural order of things. I know differently though. The coming of the age will be a time of great horror. The Daedra princes are not our ancestors, nor are they our allies. They will wash over the land, destroying all that man has made to build over these thousands of years. Only protect, uh, the only protection from the scourge will be the true ancestors that have gone before us and watch over us even now. Many of our followers choose part to participate in the cleansing, to prepare the way for the rest of us. It is a sacrifice to be sure, but it is for the greater good. It is a glorious ritual, friend Motothusis. Our followers cleanse themselves of all their troubles and of their burdens here on this earth. They send themselves ahead to their ancestors, spreading word, making ready for when we should all join them in our fight against the Daedric Hordes. Okay, then. What are your rumors? Would you believe it? Even after the trouble in the plaza, the horror of Castle Zir is still going on. It's playing in the west of God's Reach near the palace. That's the right thing to do, though. Life must go on. Alrighty, then. Presumably it says I must report this to all Malentia. Yeah. Uh, in the west of God's Reach. Can you repeat? Thank you. E. Is still not the interact button. In the west of God's Reach. Well, I need to see this play then. Where is it? Is it like in a house? In here. This is the art museum. I mean, this is God's Reach. Near the palace. What, that's down there though, right? The palace is... Right? Going crazy? Vacant. Manor, manor. It's the mage's manor. Lethen manor. It's the lady who's not going to talk to me. I feel like I'm going crazy because I don't see where the play is occurring. Oh well. Okay, let's, let's go to the palace. It's probably the, the wrong way. Yes. Or not the palace. Let's go to the uh, temple. I feel like this is going to end poorly. These fools must be reminded of the true power of a god. Since the attack on the city, much of my own power has been spent caring for my people. The number of wounded has been astronomical. 
and caring for them all has been taxing to even me. Still, I must demonstrate to these people what it is to mock the will of God. We will travel to the room for the bounce on shame and activate the costume of change. Lucy Francis, the Rebel Witch, at its height, the grammar civilization was masterful in the use of the machinery. In a time of drought, when the scholars were commissioned to create a machine that would bring rain to their lands, the creator was called Sam Chung. Its existence was little more than a myth until recently, when the rooms opened beneath my city. I wish for you to activate the machine, make it create ash storms and mournholes. Then these heretics will know the power of all Alexia. Um Question, Almalexia. Wouldn't an Ashstorm and Mournhold be a sign of the end of times? And is it fair to punish everyone in Mournhold for this cult? Oh, I already asked that. That's correct. While these storms may be common on the island of Baltimore, they do not occur here so far removed from the Red Mountain. Now, though, they will. And these heretics will understand the power of the Kazuma, the power of Almalexia. Take this, and you will activate the machine. You will have to divine the world of your own, but I believe you are. Okay, then. I'm just gonna back away. Uh. This is not exactly the actions of a any sort of loving god. Hello, Mars. Um, right, I need to go to the... I have the power Dwemer Coherer. Yes. Coherer. Hopefully the rockfall is gone. Why is there a new Nord way out here? Don't I already know this question? Look, I don't know what's going on in this place. Monsters bursting up from the ground, guards running around here. This is lunacy. You'll notice I'm not blaming this on any witch. It's still, and it's still too hot around here. Head on. Okay. So you took off all your clothes because it's too hot. Sure. I'm just gonna dip into the ruins. Alright, we know that way is a dead end, so. Probably this way. There's no door over there. Uh, that way is also a dead end, I believe. This? No. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do the belt of opening. Pretty sure I was supposed to find a key. Maybe I can, like, figure out the location. Might be in here. It might be under any of these ash piles.
already looked inside of all the desks, I'm pretty sure. Nope, no key. Doesn't appear to be on top of the desks. Or under the chairs. Let's use the belt of opening then. Get my night vision back. that I passed along the way. I feel like it would be more prominent, this weather machine. That's where a guard just evaporated. Like, more prominent than just that, you know? Created. Okay. Check in here first. There is no machine here. Just piles of ash. I like that because this place was hidden for so long, literally no one has been in here to, like, th these piles of ash I don't think were in any of the Vardenfell ruins. Uh, because, you know, adventurers would come in and mess it all up. Uh, there was a machine somewhere in this room, wasn't there? No? I might be missing something crucial. Like how to get past that rock fall. Uh, here's a machine. This does not appear to be a weather machine though. Yeah. All right, I am lost then. Unless this is the weather machine. It is not. Huh. There's nothing in that chest, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Okay then. So, what to do? Go down here and activate the machine. But I've been everywhere. Is there like a place that I've missed? Not in there. to be in here either. Alright, let's go into the Hall of Whales. I'm pretty sure this is just a... Yeah, it's a bedroom. Uh, come through here where the guard stood. Machine. This door. Which isn't on the map for some reason. There it is. I mean, it's the Hall of Walker, but I can't get there because there's a rock fall in the way. You can't clear the rock fall. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, I can... Oh, I think it died? It's not died. Uh... The darts? It's bolts. It's bolts that are required, not darts. Boo. Okay, fine. It's a long sword again. By. Yeah, darts are. You throw them. Hello. Wow, I am supremely damaged. Okay, collapsed rocks. Can I, like, blast the rocks? Punch the rocks? Can I... Shoot the rocks? No. Cannot activate the rocks. Huh. Okay, then. Interesting. I don't know what to do now. I am out of ideas. There are no more ideas. So I am going to be a cheat.
All right. It says in here there's something I need. But it's not here. I feel like I would have noticed. Something called Dwemer Satchel Packs. This is Radex Forge, right? Yeah. The locked and trapped door, which is definitely this door. Huh. So I'm missing the satchel packs, which are supposed to be here to blow the door open. Supposedly. Anything I can do? first rock pile on Radix Forge sometimes won't be passable. This can be bypassed. Good. Thank you, Wiki. <laughs> so. COC. Bam. I think that's capital COC. Unless the COC is not included. No. It's center on cell. Come on. Come back to me. Bam. Bams. Amshend. Passage of the walker. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's pull up uh, YouTube again so I can see chat. No one has said anything. And it crashed. Of course it crashed. I tried too hard and got too far. And in the end, it didn't even matter. Clarify, it's not in here. Nothing on, like hidden in the floor. Nothing. I feel like they were supposed to be in this chest that is empty. It's 
It's the only chest that's empty in there. Alright. Bam's Amshend Passage of the Locker. Wow, you're putting up a lot more of a fight than you did last time. Uh, don't I have like a quality restore health or something? Have uber restore health. Quality health. There we go. Save. And don't go back through there. Actually, King's Walk isn't where I want, where isn't where I came from. I came from one of these other doors, so I just have to be careful about which one I enter. Bad, bad. Another one will kill me. I have to do a. Uh, I have to do a super. Why am I still taking those darts? They're useless to me. Oh, that's how to get back. So that was the... that was not the king's way? No, just door. Door. That was a weird way to say the word door. Dwemer tube. Dwemer pitcher. Shield. And a coerher. Uh, looks like Norin Durer. Let's go. Let's go to King's Walk. Bad. No. Bad. Bad archer. And there's a spider over here. Hey, I blocked. For once. Just, uh, people eating dinner. A lot of nothing in these kegs. Haha! Skybreak Gallery. This sounds like something that, that has a weather machine. It looks like there were people here to work on the weather machine. This looks sort of weather machine-y. I like that there is... Oh, there is a path. Okay. I just like that there's a way up. Should you fall into the water? I 
Alrighty, there was someone currently working on this machine when uh, when the ash fell. Uh, let me take off my skirt. Do some repair. Something is attacking me, but I don't know what. So how far along am I? 7 out of 10. Okay. Uh, let's start with left. Can it be pulled until the machine is powered on? Okay. Enter the dormer core into the junction box. Yes. Journal has been updated. I have found... As I able to activate it, from deep within these ruins, it will be difficult to tell what effect it has on the city above. Okay. Alright, so we have lightning. Moon. Uh, earthquake? Looking for one that screams Ash Storm. My journal has been updated. I believe <laughs> the machine is now causing Ash Storms. Okay. Oh, it's a volcano with ash coming out of it. Okay, I see it. Wait, was that it? No. I don't know what's chasing me now. Oh, that's what's chasing me. Right, I don't have my skirt on. That's not the right skirt. There we go. Alrighty. The map said that there is a way to... Oh, hello. Clapped rocks. Uh, presumably, since there are supposed to be two satchel charges in that room, uh, that is how I would get to the place. So I might have to... Uh... Oh, hello. Uh, I might have to cheat my way into that place as well. I think this is a... No, this is where I... No, this is not where I want to be. This is just a bedroom. Uh, where was the place with the thing? It's on the other side. Place with the thing. Yeah, must have been on the other side then. The uh, workshop. No, this is a bedroom too. What am I missing? It's not through there. It's not through there. Is it in Cagnax Forge? The workshop with the... Uh the mostly completed uh, Centurion. No. Yes. It's right there.
which I had looked through already, said there was supposed to be a key. The wiki did. Ah. <sighs> key to this root ro door is in the room with the broken Dwemer robot on the desk on the right side. The passage of the walker in the, is the same area is not a usual door blocked by... Yeah. There's two in a chest in Radax Forge, one in a chest in Hall of Winds, supposedly. Uh, so yeah, there's supposed to be a key. Somewhere around here. It's a probe. A scrap metal. Which I do not want to have in my inventory. Do not see a key. I see calibers. I see a hammer. Do I still have a torch on me? Probably got rid of all of my torches. Yeah, looks like I did. I don't have anything of light. Uh, do I have azure star? It's not filled. I could probably just like enchant something with a bit of extra light. But I don't have any... I guess I could, like, do my tower shield. Don't I have a potion of light? Levitate, levitate, light! Let's quick save and use this to get some extra... visibility here. There it is. I'm just blind. Something tells me opening the door with the key is not going to help. These satchel packs just s spawn into existence. Yeah. Alright. Well, at least I found the key. Come on, don't have crashed. Good. Takes a little bit to alt-tab back into the game. Alright, I can go back up to Almalexia. In fact, I could just zoop. Wow, it is ash storming in here. Cool. Good job, Almalexia. You have. Hey, this is white now. Right, because I have light. That makes sense. What is my reason? I I haven't even looked outside. This is good. Well done. This is the effect I was looking for. Ashland is in Bornholm. My magic will prevent anyone from further tampering with this machine. You will, of course, keep silent about this. My powers are a bit strange, mortal. They are not gone. My ordinators will take care of the remains of this end of time cult from their people. You have done well. Okay. I'm well pleased, good, faithful servant. My people look upon the elements and see their written divine testament to my lordship. If 
ever any other god display such dominion over the earth and sky? But now, with a heavy heart, I must lay sad burdens on you. I bid you bring the peace of understanding to my missing hand. One of my most faithful gods, one of my very own hands of Almalexia, pledged to honor and protect and serve me in all ways, has lost his mind. Salus Vabor has abandoned me and now spews vile and slanderous untruths about me to any who would listen. I pity him, and know he is not responsible for his actions. To view the splendor of a god may drive even the strongest mortal mad. But now he presents a threat to us, and he is very dangerous. I fear you may not be able to spare his life. Now, Salus Vega comes to the streets to the sewers of Mordor. His wild, distracted manner frightens the people, but even my ordinators are afraid to confront so terrible a weapon master in your world. I beg you, seek out Salus Vega. Relieve us of this threat to my beloved people, and bring peace to my sacred city. Salus Vegor was once my most trusted hand and faithful servant. But recently his behavior has been erratic. He has been quiet and unresponsive. I am afraid I may have allowed him to come too close. It is impossible that a mortal and a god might meet on equal ground, but perhaps he has eluded himself. I regret his lamentable state and I'm sorry that I may have been partly responsible for his condition. Uh, isn't he the guy who attacked us? Uh, heck. That way is towards the merchant, so I need to go this way. Uh, do I still have a sword? Uh, Salus Valor is gonna be over here. No, it's Valas. Okay. So it's a different guy. Uh. Hey, do you know where Salus Valor is? Nope. Hello! Do you know where Salus Valor is? No. Uh, there was the... I don't think this is where I want to be, though. I think I want to be... Yes, is this Salus Valor? Welcome to my no. world. Dark Dark world. Dark no. Okay. Right, goblins are super hardy. But I think I'm still invincible. Yeah, I'm still invincible.
abandon me. Just tell me, it's like in the something in the streets and the sewers of the city. Something to be able to narrow it down where he might be. The sewers are kind of big. There's that whole old mournhold thing. Uh, bizarre sewers. I might go there. Now let's go to the bizarre sewers. Oh my gosh! Hey! It was just a drain then, not a damage. Good. I'm okay with this. Uh, okay, so you have Manor District, we have Palace Sewers. Great Bazaar. Uh, possibly might be in the Manor District. Let's go this way and find out. Torch. Take the torch. I don't have to use the, uh, light spell when I want to go finding something in high light. Uh, I'm afraid the Black Dark hunt, hunt them down the lair, but perhaps has delivered his message. He'll be free to join the ancestors. Robbed me of everything I hold dear. Yeah. That's something I completed uh, in the last episode, I believe. Episode. Session. Wow, the Dark Brotherhood is still here. I'm pretty sure they're, like, gonna be... Yeah, they're all over. Okay. You guys are being jerks. City actually check out the bizarre fact. I can just almost have you intervention myself over here. Check out the bazaar this way. It'd be a lot quicker. Alright. Looking for Servo Valor. You have two thousand gold. It's not too much. 
you're not gonna do much. Excuse me, please. Not very, really very talkative right now. Okay. You do not know service valor. Your scribs or rats, finest quality. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, you are not service valor. Well, well, well. Aren't you dangerous? I saw your fight with that wizard, Motothusis. That certainly was interesting. I expected with all the rumors of how powerful and evil he was, perhaps you'd be tougher than he appeared. Hmm. You say his name was Velus, right? There's a Velus man here. Perhaps checking it out. It's some light on this mystery. All right. Greetings, how may I help you? You do not know him. Okay. Uh, guess I'll just head to the manor district. Actually, there are sewers here. Should check them out. Where are the sewers? There's a sewer entrance somewhere in this area. There it is. Boop. Where did this go? Nowhere. to the palace sewers. Should probably check out at some point, but I'm gonna fully flesh out the bazaar up until I actually get to the manor from here. But I've already been here before. Uh, okay. Let's check out the palace sewers then. All right, there's the west sewers. We just came from the bizarre sewers. So, I guess check those out. Hello, goblin. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna hop through here looking for someone. Hello? Is there anyone here? I'm looking for Celis Valor? Where's this lead? Residential sewers. Just like straight to there? Or is it. Or going somewhere else. You choose to share your time with me? You humble me. Okay, so you're just a Nord living here in the sewers. Very well-dressed Nord. Then we're back here. Battlefield. Let's go to the battlefield. We've never been down here before. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty sure I have, though. Like, aren't there things up there? Like, ways to get to the manor district? Way up there, there's a door. Cancel. Yeah. Definitely been here. Alter for no reason. Alright, I guess into the city gate. Aww. I don't need fortify speed. Armory of ruins. Check out the old city gate first. Oh, hey, my potion of invincibility wore off. I've definitely been here before. Tears of Amun Shale. Pretty sure this just loops back around to uh, the other door, Armory Ruins. Yeah. Can't imagine Celis Vale would be living in down here with these goblins. Hey, the light wore off. And this just goes to the city gate. Alright. Goodbye. Huh? Alright, let's go to this way. Is there something. Right, I was gonna check out. Uh, the wizard's house. Yes, I could. Do you know where Celis Fail is? No. He's in the. Oh, no, I should check out the house. Do you have anything else to say? Salutations, Morathusa. So nice of you to join me in my humble boat. I was all prepared to offer you a nice drink or a bite to eat before we got down to business, but you are late in coming, and I don't appreciate being kept waiting, so business it shall be. I can sense you already made acquaintance with my unfortunate brother. Yes. Ovis always did like to take credit for my exploits. Too bad that this time I'm trying to become my doppelganger. Uh, in trying to become my doppelganger, it appears he went too far. I understand your position, Morathusa. You had to defend yourself, but I must also ask you to understand mine. I have to avenge my brother. That's the duel is called for, and there is no time like the present. Prepare yourself. Thy doom is imminent, and I have other matters to attend to. All right, uh, let's put on my actual battle skirt. Oh, you have summoned all of the things against me. Poison, shield, exclusive restore health, exquisite shoes, fancy dancy. All right. Well, there was that. Uh, okay. Oh, let's check out the tavern. See if what's his face is in there. Cause I'm beginning to suspect yes, he's not in. Do you want something? You're a 
lot more Outlander. refined than Did most tourists something? I've met. <laughs> I like that. Sickness now. Greetings. What exactly you. So, where are you from? You don't know anything. These are all rooms. That is the name. Hello, Outlander. Salas yeah, that's what I thought. You're not. Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? Should I be asking about missing hand? Oh, right. You're not going to talk to me. Yes. What is over. it? Nope. Okay. You don't know anything. You don't need to do a thing. Uh, Justice never sleeps. Still looking for Salas Bauer. Haunts the streets and sewers of Mornhold. Someone wearing the armor of the Hand of Almalexia has been walking around God's Reach muttering to himself, acting strangely. Is that who you're looking for? I wouldn't want to tangle with one of Valmalexi's personal guards. Okay. Well, we're in God's Reach. Justice. You're still not going to talk to me. So she sent you for me. Now you are her favorite. How convenient. Whichever of us dies, she will be well pleased. And if both of us die, so much the better. Well, I am content. Perhaps this is how it was meant to end. I ask the forgiveness of all the gods and spirits, whoever they may be. And you too might take your peace with your gods, because at least one of us will not live to see another sunset. Wow. You do have a powerful weapon there. You have a very powerful weapon there. Uh, stand by. Wow, all I have are these super potions. What are you doing to me, by the way? Damage strength. Damage fatigue. Oh. Screw you, dude. Yeah, my strength is just getting wrecked. Wow, his health is back up to full. Alright, my 
strength is back up a little bit. And it looks like his sword is finally out of charge, thankfully. Thankfully, I still have my feather, because I'm pretty sure I would not be able to carry what I have on me right now. Especially with all those Dwemer books that I picked up in the place. Man, you are quite the feisty guy. I also have a very fancy sword. I kind of want. It's like, what, ebony scimitar of some sort? That would be great. Her ebony scimitar. Damage strength, damage fatigue, absorb strength for 50 seconds. Oh my, yes please. Her dart. Fire damage, frost damage, shock damage, blind damage strength. Fortify heavy armor, fortify medium armor. Reflect would be nice, but I don't think I can wear a full helmet. Fortify strength, fortify resist poison, fortify attack. Resist paralysis. Okay. Uh... I mean, it could be cool to have a full set of that, like, just sitting in my house. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, I should stop by the, uh... You know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop by Alexia. Am I way? Is it this way? It is this way my way to where I, I've dumped off all my armor. Oh. Stand by Almalexia while I just do some armoring right in front of you. I'm sure this is going to be fine, right? Pick armor as one of my mains. What have you eliminated the threat of my poor, bad, missing hand and brought peace to the world? Thou was say Lord is dead, the pain is almost more than I can bear. But you have served me faithfully, and it is in my mind to grant you a divine blessing. Would you like skin as tough as iron? Would you like my protection against paralyzing terror? Would you wish to go back to the Lord's conflict far and reflect its glory? Quick now. Uh. You must not keep your deity waiting. Uh, reflect would be nice. Because at the moment, that's basically one of the only things that's hurting me. Although being tougher against damage would be nice. Uh I bless you with my gift and mark you as my own. Be ever faithful in your service, and you may expect more generous rewards. Fortify health. Boo. I thought that was gonna be Reflect. Well, I would have taken skin as tough as iron in that case. Should probably have just been fortified health. Welcome. It is time to talk to the great thing. I have watched you since your arrival at Gardenfell, and you have been a strong and faithful servant to me. None would have never believed you have succeeded as you have. How long I have waited for this, my narrow one returned to me at last. I have watched for plenty of lives, others who may have been, and I have seen them I believe now that you are the one who has promised me. I believe now to be the one who is. Though I have watched others come and go, my belief is that you are the child of the prophecy. The time has come for you to reclaim your station. Together, 
once again, free from the Imperial yoke. I mean, I did defeat Dagoth Ur already. For you, the kind of the Dwemer had been at war. The Dwemer spurned the deity of the kind of worship, instead of placing their faith in their metal creation. It was only when the Nords invaded Redstone that the two nations were able to join as one, under the leadership of our Nerevar and the Dwarf King Dunak. In time, the two generals became blood friends, and on the day that Nerevar and I were wed, Dunak presented us with twin blades, post fire, and true flame. Each was a magnificent blade, the pinnacle of Dwayne craftsmanship. Their blades burned with an unearthly fire, and the sight of them struck fear into our enemies. My blade has been kept safe, but not so true to me, the blade of Nerevar. It was lost at the Battle of Red Mountain. The blade of Nerevar. In the battle against Red Mountain, Dunhan was shattered, the flame extinguished, and in the confusion, the pieces lost. It is time for you, Nerevarine, to remain the blade and take your place by my side once again. I have only one which I now give to you. Through my magic, I have been able to determine that the other pieces of the blade are new bars. Find the other two pieces of the blade and reforge the blade anew. Only you can accomplish this. As I said, they are your bar. Look to those in the city that you know and trust for guidance. Find those who will have use for such items as this. Prove your metal to me, Nerevarine, and soon we will stand together once again. The best weaponsmiths in all of Tamiya reside in my city. When you have recovered the pieces of the blade, seek out the finest among the craftsmen and press them into our service. You'll find a number of them in my fair city. It was these artisans who built this city from ruins under my guidance. This glorious temple was erected by men and men of stout heart and strong faith. All right. Uh. Who the Lord's to talk to? You. See to it. Do you know anything about these pieces of the blade? No. No, you do not. Alright. Um This is just gonna keep blighting forever. Forever and ever. Uh let's go to the merchants. Yes. Great Bazaar. Drop off the suit of armor. Uh, but here. Helmet. Kiros. Greaves. Oh, there. Boots. Left gauntlet. I'll put the gauntlets on the one side. Cauldron. Cauldron. Gauntlet. I'm gonna keep the ebony scimitar. Uh, okay, who to talk to in here? Presumably the magic person might know about it. If not the armor. Nope. Should probably quick save. Maybe the bookseller, because. No, not persuasion. You have your money back, you do. You do not know about the pieces of the blade. Yeah. Try the bookshop. Mm. 
Negative. What do you have? 5,000 gold. Just a lot of books. Trader, pawnbroker, clothier. You don't know anything. You have a question. You know nothing. Okay. You don't know anything. You might. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Alright. To the... Whatchamacallit? God's Reach. Surprised you're still alive. No. Whoa, what was that? Making something? Making ourselves ready. Okay. Uh, museum. Ooh, you might have an idea. Right. Whatever you want. Within reason. Piece of the blade. The pieces of the blade of Nerevar here in Mornholt? That's something I'd like to get my hands on for the museum. I can't say I've seen any that I know of, but I do have one piece from roughly the same time. It seems to be of Dwemer construction. I don't even have it on display because I haven't been able to posit positively identify yet. It's a it's a shield of Dwemer make, but not traditional in any sense of the word. The pieces of it just don't seem to match, and I've wondered if it isn't some sort of fake. I suppose I might be able to part with it, but I'll need some compensation. I'm always looking for new, unique pieces for the Museum of Artifacts. Unique items, weapons, armor, of weapons of lore, you know the stuff. I'd be willing, if you'd be willing to donate a couple to the museum, I'd be willing to part with a shield. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Bring in a couple of quality pieces and I'll be able to help you, old friend. Okay. Um, do I need one of, like, some of these? be like on her person because I don't know if I have any artifacts to even welcome to sell the hold oh, that's not artifacts. the right button yeah I don't have any artifacts I might in caldera how about you Right, I do have the list. I thought that was just for adamantium armor. Glass armor, glass helm, 12 raw glass, and 8,400 gold. Nice. What was that? Broken Dwemer blade piece, right. All right. Uh keep out. 
Did he run away? Please tell me that's... That's the guy's room and he's still here. That would be hilarious. He's just hiding in his room. Secret office. Doctor the boss. We just work here. I have nothing to say. Talk to Varys. We print the truth. The straight truth. I was an honest working burglar. I'm looking for the Eye of Argonia. My mistake. Okay. I'm just gonna load that quick save. Cause I feel like I stumbled into some place that I shouldn't be in. I'm also disappointed it's not the guy's hot room. He's just hiding away. Uh, the person might know actually, since he just finds bits right. and pieces. I'm listening. Ash storms. Something? No, not yet. All right. Uh, okay. It wasn't in there. Well, I mean, it was in there, but I have to find two pieces of artifact. guy's dead. I don't think he has any bolts of cloth. Uh, so, who else can I talk to? Arch Cannon. And I might have to go to the Royal Palace. I mean, if I need to donate one of the things to the... Uh, or donate some pieces to the museum, I wouldn't even know how to go about getting those. I don't even know how to start the quests for those. I clean this temple, Sarah. Mind you keep it back. Talk about the craftsman. The craftsman's hall, he's a sharp one. Yagat Glo Glurk. Justice. Craftsman's Hall. Which I was just at. I'm listening. But I never talked to the orc, I just talked to the guy. Uh oh, craftsman's hall's this way. I don't even know who else would have it. Again, I can't get the other piece without uh, some donations to the museum. If we'd be the pieces, I'll put it together. Better than it was before. Okay, well, I need the pieces. <sighs> okay, artifact lady has a piece. But there's another piece somewhere.
Hello, what can I do for you? Do you know about pieces of the blade? No. Imperial cult services, I feel like, is not the place I want to be. Guards quarters. Legion depot. I guess the reception area. I just like walk in on the king. His Majesty commands. Talk all you want. It doesn't bother me. Saint Nerevar. Ages ago, Nerevar was the greatest Dunder general, first counselor, companion of Vivek Al Malexian and Sotasil, who, with the power of the Great Ring of the Ancestors, one clan under Moon and Star, united the Dunmer houses to confront the evil Dwemer, the treacherous house Dagoth, and their western allies at Red Mountains by Providence. Faithless Dumbrand were utterly destroyed and their allies defeated, but Nerevar, mortally wounded in combat with the traitor Dagoth Ur, was driven from Red Mountain. Nerevar died not long after his wounds, but he lived to see the birth of the temple and to bless the unity of the temp Dunmer and the safe king keeping of the Elmsabi, the temple, and all his communities with the saints. Okay. Throne room. He's probably in here. Hello. You don't know anything about what I'm well, hoping for. Okay. So. Uh. Maybe you could like commune with Bothaya. Who is a Daedra, actually. She is not. Is she a Daedra? I'm pretty sure she's a Daedra. She's not one of the Nine Divines. Well. Ah, you do not like me. Uh. Yeah, but with I is definitely one of the Daedra. The Aedra, Akatosh, Debella, Arche, Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, Kinareth, and Julianos, and the divine god hero Tiber Septim. Uh, you don't know about the Daedra, which makes sense. Okay. I receive a blessing. I want to restore all my attributes. Alright, I guess I'll go back to... Ardenfeld. Go ahead. Speak. So I'm gonna have to go there anyway to get artifacts for one of the pieces. Uh, how do I get out of here in a way that doesn't involve going in circles? Speak, traveler. Go now. I feel like this is not the right way. Alright. Through the door. First door on the right. First door on the right. No. I don't. Aha! All right, I have no idea where any of these shrines are. And it crashed. Of course it crashed. All right, I do have to go to the bathroom, but I think I'm going to be back. Uh...
I'll be right back. I return. Let me press the play button. Uh, so yes, it does look like I'm going to have to um, get some actual artifacts to trade. But I do not know where those artifacts are going to be. Um, I'm here. I need to go out this door. We hopefully this doesn't kill me. All right, I'm super invincible right now. Okay, uh, so, let's head up towards, cool, we're going to transition to Blood Moon. What is this about? E is still not the button I need to push. I think Narmok is closed farther up the coast. Yeah. One more hop to cool. What is this about? And this Khajiit takes us to Solstein. What's your deal? Can't talk right now. We're waiting for our escort to Raven Rock. See uh, Carnus Magius in the shrine if you need something. Okay.
Don't you have some place to be? He's got an office upstairs. I don't know much about the man, but I understand he's got something to do with the new colony on the island. What do you want? Is this about the East Empire Company? I'm a very important man, I'll have you know. I have no time for anything other than business. Yes, that's right. I'm the local factor. Not that it means much at this point. Our operations are just getting underway. And frankly, we're shorthanded. We could use some help. Do you wish to join the East Empire Company? Uh, I think I do for this. Your interest is commendable. And we could certainly use the manual labor, if nothing else. As with all business, make sure you understand the requirements for anything. Are you willing? What are the requirements? The East Empire Company is a business at heart. Applicants should have a winning personality, a strong will. Those with the ability to speak eloquently and barter shrewdly are most valuable. Given the hostile environment the company has often ventured into, applicants should have a strong sense of security. Finally, all applicants should be trained in the time-honored virtues of long blade and medium armor, as has been customary in the company for generations. So... It literally just spells it out for you. Um, willpower. Personality. Speechcraft. Barter. Uh, actual security, like lockpicking. And then medium armor and longsword. Very well. You are now underling. Votethusis, I'll make it clear to you now that I'm the one in charge. When you're ready for assignment or a pro promotion. I think you're ready for work, eh? Very well. The first of our workers have arrived and need to get to the mining site. None of them are particularly skilled with the blade, so I'd like you to escort them. They know the way. You simply have to make sure they arrive safely. Once you're there, check in with Falco Galenus. Or Galenus. He'll give you further instructions. For now, go speak with Gidar Verothen. He's down by the dock. Hey, that's who we talk to. It's a very simple banner. It's just a raven. Not even a rock. Just a raven. Uh, so to put the where we are into perspective, well, we can't see it. Uh, Mornhold is down here. So we want Mornhold to Ebonheart. Uh, I think we hit Hala Ode, Narmok, Cool, and then over to Fort Frostmoth. Is there something uh, you? So you're the escort? Let me know when you're ready to go. Gaiman, Sabinus, and I need to get to the site where we can start work. Can we leave, or do you need more time? Let's go. All right. We all vote, and we decide that you get to take the lead. None of us are particularly fond of the woods. I'm not saying we're cowards, mind you. And we felt that you'd be better off leading the way. I can at least mark the spot on the map so you know which way you need to go. Lead on. It's up there. It's basically northeast, or northwest. I know my directions. Hey, I could be using her ebony scimitar. It's actually still charging, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, I don't have the Daikatana. That's a shame. Uh, let's throw on the longsword skirt. Bush. What are holly berries good for? Weakness to fire, frost damage, and resist frost. Interesting. Hello, wolf.
the wolves are a lot harder to kill when you are not uh, end game. Fun fact with the Sprig Spriggans, you have to kill them three times. There we go. You didn't even have a Spriggan heart for me. Worthless. Alright, let's keep moving. There's another Spriggan. Can we avoid her? And there's a bear. Let's avoid the bear. Yeah, uh, if you come to Solstheim early, like when you're below level 10, uh, you're going to die. Just a lot. All right. I believe we have come to Raven Rock. We are in the vicinity of Raven Rock. There is a bear. Somewhere around here is going to be the guy we need to report to. There he is. Made it in one piece. Thanks for the escort, but if there's this crap, we'll crash into each other again. Run into each other again. Very well. I'll be managing the site from here and answering only to Carnius. Since you're here, I have an assignment for you. Carnius sent you to me for more instructions, yes? Well, you can finish the task I was working on before you got here. Now that we have some workers arrived, I need to stay here and supervise. Here, take this ebony ore and find four more pieces like it. Carnius needs some proof of, for our investors that this venture is worth it, and the ore should do nicely. They shouldn't be too hard to find. This is quite an abundant... Er, there's quite an abundance of ebony ore in the area, which is why we chose the site. But Carnius is in such a hurry to get started that he's come right out and said he doesn't care what the ore comes from, so long as it's enough to show the investors. I'm surprised he didn't just bring some over from Vardenfell when he arrived. I certainly wouldn't put it past him. Raw ebony. There's no ore, though. One, two, three... Four or five. Boom. Take it back to Ki uh, Carnius if you could. All right. Well, let's uh, divine intervention our way out of here. See ya. Uh, back here. Ah, so you have the aura, asked Falco for? He couldn't even accomplish that by himself, could he? No matter, the investors are w waiting for this, so hand it over. Here's payment for the job. I don't have any other work for you right now. Come back and see me in about three days. By then, construction should be well underway, and there will likely be more to do. Oh, and take the stock certificate. It's a way to offset the cost of establishing and developing the colony. Each employee is issued a certificate that it has value based on how well the colony is performing. If you decide you'd like to exchange it for money, it can be ar arranged. See me if you're interested in doing so. About time. I believe Carnius dies at some point, so we should... I mean, we don't have to. We have plenty of money. Uh, three days, eh? What do I do for three days? How these alembic thingies work? Uh, what do you want? Go see Captain Curris. He's in the chamber in the fort. Head through the general quarters all the way up through the south staircase. He's on the third floor of his chambers. If you hear about that colony, talk to uh, Carnius Magius. He's in the Puricol Shrine. All right. General quarters third floor of the south staircase. I don't think I can get to the general quarters from here. Alright, south staircase is down here. Presumably. 
da -da -da. door. All the way up. Upper level. Various chambers. What can I do for you? I'm Captain Falks Carius, commander of Fort Frostmoth. We're an Imperial fort, obviously. My soldiers have the ability to be among the best of in all the Empire. The alien island of Solstheim is not the easiest assignment, though, and perhaps, and sometimes it makes men edgy. As I said, this is a difficult post. These soldiers are separated from their families and forced to live in harsh conditions, to be fair. Most of these men were sent to this island as punishment for a, fast, a past offense. They are not the best of soldiers. Yet, yet, still, until recently, they had performed their duties adequately. Lady, lately, I've noticed some disturbing trends. To be sure, the men have been restless, complaining more than usual. They have been lackadaisical in the performance of their duties. I sense a, I sense a great unease among them, and morale has been low. Very low. This is not normal. My instinct tells me that there is a one among troops who is fanning the fires of this t discontent, and I wish to know who it is. They will never let me know what the culprit is, as their commanding officer. I must regretfully keep some distance between these fine soldiers and myself. They may be willing to speak with you, though. See if you can gain can't gain their trust. If you learn anything... Report to me. I ask you to okay. Uh, so let's just go down to the regular level. Surely there's someone here. Hello, guard. I have nothing to say. Sure could use a drink, though, and not that Nord swill. Nothing to say. Sure could use a drink, though. Noticing a trend. Okay, let me find a named person. Nope, that did not work. Any time now. Fine, be that way. Scroll all the way down. Charming charm. Oh. Okay. You all just say that. Even if you charm super, super a whole bunch. Uh, what's in here? Armory? Maybe someone's in here. Okay. Curtain wall. Locked door. Hello. Sin and grief. <laughs> That's booze, isn't it? Why is they why are they hidden? It's probably a dry fort. That would make sense. Uh let's go down. Can't go down anymore. Uh locked door. Fort Frostmoth, and this is the curtain is wall. Uh, okay, I've talked to everyone out here, I think. Uh, there was a upper, or a middle level, I believe. Actually, let's go down to the basement. Okay. Yes. 
Is that just another stairway? No. Go ahead, stranger. All right, these are certainly more barracksy than the other yeah. rooms that I've been in. So someone has been hoarding alcohol. Any time now. It's whoever that room that I found was. It's presumably just a ladder upward. Nope, it's not even a ladder upward. Supply room. This could be useful. Any time now. Any time now. What's this about? You know, I bet you if I gave one of these guys a drink, they'd, uh, they'd open up. Something tells me I'm not going to find a drink in here. Let's hear it. But I do know where to find a drink. That it? Upper level. That was just where I came from. Dang it. Alright, where was that? That was in the armory, which is here. Which is here. Upper level of the armory. This room. All right. Hey, is that booze I smell on you? It smells like Flynn to me, and I can know that smell ever. How about giving a sure? Take it. Thank. Uh, just hasn't been the same around here since this became a dry fort. It's ridiculous, I tell you. That's right, no liquor at all is allowed at Forest Frot Mo Fort Frostmoth these days. Captain's orders, I guess. It seemed odd coming from him. Captain Carrius seemed like a fair enough guy. As long as we carried out our duties, I guess he figured we weren't up to his standards, and so he cut us off. Since then, everyone's been in a pretty foul mood. There we go. So, we can ask. That went through the wrong door. One day this feather is going to wear off. I'm sure I stopped by Caldera on my way here and dropped off all those uh, books that I have. Carrie uh, says third door. Third floor. Hmm. I imagine that the lack of alcohol might have some effects on morale, but I didn't ever actually ban it. Personally, I didn't care about the alcohol. It was the priest. Antonius Nuncius, who was worried about the effect it was having on the men. I disagreed, but the question became moot. Our shipment stopped coming in months ago. Speak with the soldiers a bit more and see if you can find out what the sor source of the discontent is. He's one of our priests here. Not a bad one. Seemed a bright enough fellow, if only to apply himself a bit more. I ask All right. Uh, might be able to get a hold of some booze. Sure, take it. Uh, what about Ant Antonius Nuncius? The priest? He's not bad, I guess. For a priest, you'll find him at the Imperial Cult Shrine here in the fort. Though he keeps an office upstairs from the armory. Haha! -ha! That's where I took all those booze from. Could be in either place. Seems to understand the soldiers pretty well. He was telling me just the other day it seemed unfair that the captain had just cut us off from the drink. He figures that's one of the few pleasures in this dung heap of an island. Okay. Uh, the shrine is this way. Are you Nuncius? No. You! He tells me he never ba banned alcohol. Told you that, did he? I guess he never officially did. Still, the shipment stopped arriving. What's to be done about that? Well, I have no idea why. I'm but a simple priest, forced to serve these pathetic soldiers on this terrible frozen excuse for an island. It's not my concern why the alcohol hasn't arrived. You have no proof I've done anything wrong. Stop asking me these questions. Yes? What can this humble priest... Uh... Okay. Can I talk to someone else about the shipments? Hmm. 
Uh, talk to Carius again. Let's see what's up. Well, maybe there's someone at the dock. It's presumably. Go ahead, speak. Nope. Hmm. Try to go to the mainland, pick up a whole bunch more booze and come back. Anytime you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. It's in the armory. This is the armory, right? I don't think I ever actually, uh, Cannot be opened without the key. There's no way that you left the key just laying around, did you? Alright, opens up there. All right, time to go pilfer his office, his other office. If I can be of any assistance, I'll what be happy have, friend? to help. It's upstairs. Drive for it. All right. Something tells me that the uh, he has had it. missing like he has arranged for it to go missing uh curtain wall presumably not where i want to be can i like pickpocket the key from him help guards a thief I believe I have a chameleon thing. Oh, it died. Very stable game. Yes. Wow, he's what on the can move. This humble priest do for you? You've made your last mistake, thief. Hey, gold. Presumably that took the uh, booze away. All right, fine. Time to tr actually. I'm just gonna quick save. Or quick load. The other sort of the other thing. I think my radiator has finally started working, and it is a thousand degrees in here. Uh, so I want to charm the pants off of you. Charming charm. Yes. What can I do? 
What do you want? Shipment stopped arriving. I have no idea. I'm a simple priest. No proof I've done anything wrong. I don't know. You look like trouble to me. Left the shrine for these forsaken frozen waters. Her challenge was to bring word of the Imperial Court to the local salvages. She hasn't returned and I feel the worst. What else would you call them? They're hardly civilized. Well, with all that barren wolf worship, and they hardly even recognize the Nine Divines. Most Nords are too busy worshipping heathen gods like Alduin and Orke. That's why Marissa's missionary work was so important. She had a passion for preaching. She thought she would be mo most effective by spreading the tenets of the Imperial Cult to the residents of Salsnheim. It's dangerous but necessary work. Her journeys into the wild have been very successful in the past, but Marissa never returned from her last outing. I fear something terrible has happened. I don't suppose you'd be willing to look for Marissa. She means a great deal to me. That is, she, her work, is very important to the Imperial cult. You have to look for the, uh, you have to look an adventure about you, Monothesis. If you can find Marissa and return her to me, I would gladly empty the shrine's coffers into your purse. She left over a month ago and headed north, toward Lake Fjalding. You should begin your search in that area. Of course, it's covered by ice, so it's not much use. Lake Fjalding is that. All right. Yes. What can this Maybe if I Yes. What can this humble priest? Pretty sure that made me. Yeah. So you're invisible until you interact with something. Maced. You've stolen for the last time. Did I manage to get the maze? No. Okay. He has it on his person. Maybe I shouldn't have given the two bottles away. I should have given one away and then confronted him with the evidence of the other. Uh... Do I have any sort of chameleon? Get Caius' shirt. Yes, what can this humble girl do for you? They were teeth in her mouth, but I'm not sure. Dang it. Crime has been reported, but he doesn't actually know where I am. Because I'm invisible. Well, I'm chameleoned. No! Characters in combat. Darn it. Okay. Well, I could kill him. Take the stuff off his body. Yes. I don't think that's going to work. Uh... Lucky shirt and put no ever tired back on and still have the rings. Uh, I could look in this desk. Any time now. The the key to his dresser might be in his desk. Uh, so I need to put on the belt of opening. 
Oh. I mean, he could just have a thousand vials of alcohol in there. Hey, hey, hey you. Well, I have no idea. You've been in my desk? My desk? You've been in there? Why, that's an outrage! Stolen liquor? I had no idea. All right. Perhaps I have been hiding the alcohol. It was for their own good. And I had hoped that if the soldiers got fed up and revolted, I'd be able to justify going home to my superiors. Look, I don't want any trouble from you. I'll need to report this to Carius. I'll finish. I'll never leave this island now. At least not alive. Curious will have my head. What have you done? I hope you're happy. Well, yeah, you shouldn't be stealing, you know, the feel-good juice from people. That's just not cool. You say that Antonius Nunsis has started this whole thing because he wanted to go home? The twit. I'd have him reassigned had he just asked me. Now, though, I think he might do his best work here, saving the souls of my men. With the new abundance of liquor in the fort, someone will have to deliver their salvation. Thank you for your help, Motifusis. And take these. There are diseases on this island that we have never encountered before, and this weapon might serve you well. On to fort business. As I've told you, not all my soldiers here are trustworthy. Many were sent to this fort in lieu of Ebonheart's dungeons. Now I feel the criminal element has shown itself at Fort Frostmoth. I believe there are weapons being smuggled out of here and sold on Vardenfell. I've noticed the store of weapons in the army has been decreasing, and I know there is no official reason for it. My only guess is that someone is smuggling them off Solstein to be stolen, st sold on Vardenfell. I want you to uncover the smuggling ring, and I'll provide you with a bit of help. I would like you to work with one of my soldiers on this case. There are two available to you, and there are two of my best here at Fort Frostmoth. Sandus Lucius and Gaia Artoria. You'll find Lucius in the general quarters and the Artoria in the general quarters upper level. Speak with them and decide which will be your companion. When you have unearthed the smuggling ring, report to me. I'll leave, I'll leave how you deal with the smugglers to your own discretion. Uh, okay, so general quarters upper level. Presumably, she's the lady. I'm supposed to assist you with something. Uh, can you tell me about yourself? No. Want to go crap some skull or crack some skulls? I'm not sure with whom I want to work. I'm good at making people sorry. Okay. And there's general quarters just around the other guy. Yes. Probably him. Yeah. Uh Captain Carius mentioned that you might come to speak with me. How may I assist you? Okay. Can I, like, talk to someone else about you guys to get an opinion? Tough fighter. Short temper. She can be a bit thick, but there's no one I'd want more on my side in a fight. You can probably find her in the Jedi Corps' upper level. Smart as they come. Everyone around here likes him, too. Real easy to talk to. Not the most handy guy with the steel, but he makes up for it in smarts. You can probably find him. I'll take smarts. Because I have enough steel for anything. Uh, I'd like you to work with me. Excellent. We'll have to perform the other task that Carrie's had, but no matter. Let's find these scoundrels. Okay. I suggest we speak with some of the soldiers here at the fort. A motley bunch, sure, but some of them are fair soldiers. I developed quite a rapport with a few, in fact. Why don't we start by speaking with Zeno Faustus? He's an interesting character. We can find him in the armory. Okay. Well, I know where the armory is. What do I have on me right now? How's the sword? Sword is still... Sword is still... Recharging. I'm 
Honor to you, Nereverine. Smuggling? Well, if you're with uh, Lucius, I guess I can tell you what I've heard. Check out the Gendrung Caverns a little bit northeast of the fort. I've heard a couple of the soldiers talk about the place. They mentioned weapons stashed there. Look, you didn't hear it from me, though. I'll deny it. What do you have for barter? How much money do you have? 1,500, not much. <coughs> you do have bolts. I will take all of your steel bolts. And in return, I will give you all of the darts that I have. And darts that I have. Fine. All right. Where did Lucius go? Travel together. Excellent. All right. Northeast found we go. I think there's a door out here. Yes. Just a guy standing here in the wilds. What's up? So, you've traveled the wilds of Solstheim just as I do. Here's a word of advice from one wanderer to another. Keep your eyes open and your wits about you. There's more than bears and wolves running on the, about this island. If you find yourself face to face with the berserkers or fierce hags, sheath your blade and get to running. If you need shelter, my kinsfolk at Thirsk will gladly take you in. They are called bear skins, or bear sarks by the Nord tongue because of their insistence on going bare chested even in the most severe blizzard. They're as crazy as they come, my friend, and care only for savagery and murder. It's said they are so attracted to death they make their homes out of some, si some of Solstheim's burial barrows. I've heard rumor of some kind of berserker mother, but no one has ever seen her and lived to tell about it. The Freeze Hags are mages dedicated to the teachings of Kine, the widow god, oh, the widow of the god Shore. Each is powerful. Each is a powerful sorceress, skilled in the use of frost-based magicka. They're vicious lasses, and most view people as a threat to their beliefs. They've been seen out in the wild, and a couple in the ice caves. Lots of them roam around the islands. Some are pretty nasty, even diseased. Don't pay, it doesn't pay to mess with them, even though the pelts can be valuable, I hear. They're all over this island. Some travel in packs, which makes them especially dangerous. I've heard some carry diseases as well. Well, I am immune to disease, so ha. Oh, I probably shouldn't sprint. Gandrung Caverns. Hello, Stalrim. Don't have the tools to do anything with this. I should dispose of that rat corpse. All right, there is a hole in the wall here with a guard. The rat did not care about the guard. He's friends with the guard. Am I friends with the guard? You're mine. <laughs> Take a potion while I'm here. Yes. <laughs> Your spark blade ran out of juice. Uh, these are very cheap. So I don't care. Actually, what, what is the spark blade? Is it expensive? It's decently expensive. May as well take it.
Oh. Man, the paralytic swords are intense. Alright, uh... I only have four more restore health. I should fix that. Man, this is long paralysis. Get in the way of my sword. You're hardly a match for me. Don't escape me that easily. Dang. Surrender now and I might let you live. Gah! Come on. He took a health potion too, so he's going to take a little bit longer to go away. I might have hit you a couple times. Uh, do I have, like, heal companion? Paralysis 900. Paralysis 900. Four by strength. That's a decent potion. Fight. Yeah, yeah, something told me. Wait, look, we don't want any trouble. We heard you're working with um, Sanius Lucius, and everyone at the fort knows he's a reasonable man, so maybe we can make a deal. I'll get off the island, leave the weapons behind. You just let me go peacefully and don't cause any trouble with Carius. And I'm gone. And look, I'll give you this nice axe as a little bonus for keeping this quiet. Carius will never miss me and I'll just disappear. Ask Lucius about it. He'll give you good advice. You just cracked my skull open with a hammer. Interesting. Well, I suppose you could let him go. I know Spurious. And while he wasn't the best soldier, he wasn't the worst either. And I know he has a family to feed back home. Still, he is stolen from the Legion, and his crimes are punishable by death. I'm afraid the decision is yours, my friend. But if you decide, I will support it. Don't come back. Sounds good. You won't regret this. I'll be gone as soon as possible. Here, take this. I found it while doing a bit of traveling around here. Had a friend of mine throw a little enchantment on his bow. Oh, and take whatever you want from the stash. I'm sure nothing will be missed. Our secret, just between us. Goodbye. Yes, Argonian. Wow, that's a fancy tanker to mead. Scuttle is good. Grateful gem is important. You want something, friend? Okay, what's in the chest? I have to know. Hittons of gold. Sure, I'll take it. Take all of your gold. As you know, I need more gold. Clearly. Oh, hey. Standard invisibility. Pretty cheap potion. Ah, uh, of course. Open 100 points on target. Plumma eggs.
Alright, fine, let's do this. Empty. Empty. Boo. Belt of Night Eye, there it is. Alright, let's return. Go back home. Well, to Fort Frostmoth. And it's a beautiful morning. Um, had been a beautiful morning. I went in the wrong door. It's gonna be easier to go out and around this way than just go through the castle. Yes. Looks like the castle's been damaged just a little bit. Carius is gone. Carries is gone. The captain, I haven't seen him. Find Artoria. She may know what to do. Let's Artoria. Hear. She's the uh, one that I didn't take with me, I believe. Let's hear it. gone. The creatures took him to the battle. Someone to find the captain. There was an attack. Some kind of wolf creatures. I don't know exactly how it all happened. We were outmanned, but the soldiers fought valiantly, especially the captain. When it was over, he was gone. I didn't see him go down, so I assume he was alive. My guess is that the savages from the Nord village have something to do with this. You need to find him, Modethusis. There are a bunch of savages that live on the northeast tip of the island. The Skull, they call themselves. I'll mark the village on your map. A bunch of animal spirit-worshipping freaks. Wolves especially. What does that tell you? I'm sure that they know what... I'm sure they know what happened to the captain. Now go find out. They're likely to they're not likely to trust you, so take this. They'll like it. You should stay with them until you find out what's going on. Get in good with them and earn their trust. Okay. Uh I actually don't want to do that oh, currently. I would like instead to do a sleep. I don't want to go to the prison. Why did I go to the prison? I want to sleep for three days. And continue. Uh, the Raven Rock stuff. Hello, wolves. Hang on, I'm just gonna come over here. There, now I'm in the Hurstang Forest. Something tells me I cannot rest. Yes. Strength, agility, endurance. Journal has been updated. I'm over encumbered by a tiny bit. Darn. Uh, what do I drop? Make potions. Let's see what I can do. Uh, how me does restore fatigue? Are those do you restore health. I think I have other restore health. Maybe? That was already the salt rice. Do not have other restore health. Um, let's restore fatigue.
do that. Uh, Zerzog meat and ectoplasm. Uh, fortify strength, cure common disease. Zerzog meat and danger skin. Any other fortify strength? No. Okay. I cannot do anything else. Drop this ebony. I do not jump nearly as far anymore. I should sell the swords that I have to someone. Think I can come through here? No, I have to go around to the north. I have like a bunch of swords and stuff that I'm not gonna need. May as well sell them to this guy after repairing them all. All right, uh, long sword of paralysis I don't need. Spark blade I don't need. Axe of paralysis I don't need. Axe of paralysis I do not need. I'm not going to use it. I should sell it. Can only wait 10, though. Oh, I cannot do all of that. Sell that, then. All right. Uh, right going to the shrine to see what's his face stuck here I personally don't have anything for you but I understand Falco is having some sort of problem at the site doesn't surprise me go and see what's going on can do I can actually just take the boat to Raven Rock. Don't have to walk. Do have to walk back? That's fine. I can just divine intervention my way back, actually. Travel, Raven Rock. Hey, I actually have some buildings now. Well, ish. Oh, they do have a building. Falco! Confound it all, I had hoped Ky Karnas wouldn't be able to catch wind of our situation, but I had things under control until recently. It's this crazy Nord, Hral Hraldar the Strange, we've taken to calling him. He's been hanging around for a while, ranting about how we're ruining the land. If we don't stop, we'll incur the wrath of nature itself. He was simply a nuisance, but now it's apparent we have to get rid of him. I'm sure Carius wants him killed. Anything standing between Car uh, Carnius and the Prophets deserves a death warrant, so far as he's concerned. But I can't be that harsh. I feel sorry for this poor man. It's clear um, his own people have abandoned him, though I can certainly understand why. Ask, don't hurt him, Monothusis. Try to reason with him. Failing that, come back with me and we can work out something. Raldar the Strange. You'll not infect me with your devilry, Algarnian. I'm here to defend nature, and I'll do so at any cost. Now be gone. Okay. Is he really that stubborn? Fine, I don't have time for this. We need to get in there and finish our work. You'll have my permission to rob him up a bit. Bare fists only. No weapons, no spells. Are we clear? I want him to understand he is not welcome here. I don't want him dead. I'll be... I'm not very good with hand-to-hand -hand combat. What? You're kidding me, right? You honestly don't know how to throw a punch? Well, it certainly doesn't speak very highly of you now, does it? Go learn something about it, why don't you? Or use some sort of magic shenanigans to help yourself out. Really? I'm not here to hold your hand. Take some initiative. Okay. Uh... So I'm not great with it, but if I put on a battle skirt, oh, 
the other battle spirit has the hand to hand stuff. You will not infect me with your devil. I am here to defend nature, and I'll do so at any cost. Now be gone. Take that. Take that. And this. Pretty sure there's someone in Balmora who can teach me hand to hand. possible he is recovering faster than <laughs> then I'm get able to knock him out do I have the luck can I get put on Caius uh luck of the uh, what's his face luck of the emperor Have anything else that's like lucky? Nope. So luck should increase my ability to actually land hits. Turn, I think, should help level it up. Or I could just go Balmora. Yeah, I'll go to Balmora. I uh, need to divine intervention my way out of here. Do the amulet. But I don't want to do the amulet. Um, what happens if I alms of the intervention? Where does that take me? That's a question. Anytime. Also, I can go around and pick up ingredients for health potions. Take me to cool, please. And it crashed. All right. Uh, I think that's enough for me for today because I've been doing this for five hours. So, see you next time. Take care. <laughs>